then uh, I figured, you know what, I'm, I'm working on this little last minute thing that I have to do. And I thought, okay, I'll go, I'll go live and I'll talk to you guys while I'm doing it. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? We, we don't know phone numbers anymore by heart. I'm like, my handyman's here working, but he's not going to be able to call my phone if he needs something. I have to give him. We don't know phone numbers oh, anymore by heart. I'm like, my Stand handyman's by. here working, but he's not going to be able to. Thank you. <laughs> I love technology. Not. Um, anyway, I've got to give him Noah's number in case he needs anything. Because Noah can run out there and help him. So bear with me a moment. I hate dead air, so I'm going to try to talk. Hold on. I'm almost done here. Anyway, welcome to the sale, everyone. Um, I'm kind of like out of my routine. I almost forgot to even, I almost forgot to make the broadcast for this. I'm like, isn't it funny? Like a week goes by, you don't do something, and you completely forget what you're doing. Oh, Rachel, you probably need to have access for the... For the yeah. that would be helpful. Yes, for yes, you know what I mean. For because she does their close-up cam. I give you a little. Uh, we're trying. We have a new setup too. Um, Rachel is sitting next to me. Oh, I can't type. Can you type in uh, the niche lady at gmail.com? Well, I thank you. There it is. Okay, we're now booked up. I'm back. Back. <laughs> One more. I have the mouse and she has the keyboard so that we can do this. Okay, I think that worked. Let's see if that worked. All this grand technology so we can do all this stuff. Let's see. Okay, can you get yourself? You know how to do it, right? You really? Oh my goodness. I did. Oh, why did you look at me like that? Come on, girl. Oh, the headphones to plug into there so that we don't get feedback. They're behind me. They're where? Behind me. Well, get them. I get them. Get them. Get them. Plug that headphone in. Okay. Is there anything wrong at your end with your picture? Picture. 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 No, just my sound issues. Holy moke. Come on. Get that plugged in. Wow. Okay. I'm pixelated. I should not be pixelated. Ah. Definitely should not be pixelated because we are. I'm blurry. No, that is that is no bueno is because. Is that everyone or is it only a No, few look. Few? See? Oh. I'm looking at your quality too. That is definitely not cool when I pay so much for my internet. I'm going to do, can you oh, type in, I forgot, I can't type. Um, type in speed test. Okay, don't do nothing. I'm going to, I'm going to do this real fast. See what's going on. See where we're at having even trouble connecting here okay you guys ever run a speed test on your computer like it's important to know if you're getting so our, our download speed yeah our download speeds are not really where they're supposed to be but that's okay could it be Noah's game or something um Noah's probably download but we have mega we have mega internet service so here's well, it's still, it should not be pixelated. It should not be pixelated. We have decent upload speeds. What, it's auto. Okay. I mean, it's not as best as it could be. You know what? Let me, let me jump out and jump back in and see if that helps anything. So stand by. Let's see if we can get this.
Okay. Let's see if that's any better. Hopefully. Hopefully. No, it's still pixelated. I can see, like, because Rachel has it over here on another screen, and I can see what you guys are seeing. Can you go ask Noah if he is in some big download or, or upload of something that he needs to stop because it's affecting our bandwidth? He needs to stop. He's trying to download a new the, the new editing program that I started using. Um, so he might. Now my sound is off. What? No, my sound. Hold on. My sound is not. Hold on. Yeah, Noah's downloading some big. Here, just don't look at my mouth. And it will be synced. He's, he's going to pause it. Okay, he's going to pause it. This is crazy. Why pay all of this money for internet service and put up with this? I am so aggravated right now. Hold on. Stand by. Okay. Not today, Satan. Not today. I'm just saying. Still not fixing. Well, we cannot have a sale like this. Yeah, it's showing that connection is unstable. If you're on Wi-Fi, try plugging into your... I'm not on Wi-Fi. Let me try something. No, I don't even have a Wi-Fi network on this thing. Oh, they didn't chew on an uh, internet cord again, did he? I don't think so. Does Ozzy chew cords still? No. Ozzy was in my office last night. Is this here? Let's let's check if it's my computer. Okay, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a little test. I'm gonna look at that. There you go. Tell me if this is pixelated. Okay, so there is a lag. <laughs> so, okay, now you're going to see him. Is it pixelated over there too? It's no. not pixelated. It's laggy, but it's not Okay, pixelated. so mine is my direct connection. It's not our Wi-Fi service, which is what the phone is on. So, stand by. Stand by. We're going to figure this out. Hang tight. I have to walk around here and check something. Yes. Yes. Of course, I got myself blocked out of there by this little setup that we did. So I got to move this. Oh, uh, we can't because the keyboard doesn't reach if I do that. I'll put the keyboard. No, it's fine. I can get around. I can do this. I really need to get my office like all situated up here at some point. All right, where is my internet connection? Internet connection. Where are you? You are right here. And why am I still showing the turtle? I don't know. Just stand by. I don't see any two cords. Okay. Just to give them something to look at. Okay. Oh no, my internet cord goes behind there and through there. Do you want me to grab my little Wi-Fi block thing and plug it into? We might have to do that. You know what? That's not a bad idea, Rachel. Not a bad idea. Let me see if doing that fixed anything. Is it still pixelated over here? Uh, I can't tell without you being there. Let's see. Let's see if it's better. Let's see if it's better. It's not Crossing pixelated fingers. on the phone. 
Uh, let me take. No. Did it's I a little blurry? That fixed it a little bit. Yeah. That fixed it a little bit. Well, you know what? The close-up cam, I think, is going to be vitally important today. I think we can go with this. So there's something wrong. We did a whole bunch of, like, moving stuff around. Like, I should never do stuff right at the last minute. Anyway, I think I think we can go with this. I think this is going to work now. Everyone's saying better. Better. Okay. It might have also just oh. been Noah canceling his <laughs> Yes, download. and Noah's now not downloading some massive program, and all is right with the world. <laughs> this is my life. This is my life. Okay. Woo. All right. Too dark. Oh, you think it might be too dark? Turn on the overhead uh -huh. light. Turn on the overhead light, too, and see if that helps. Yeah, it just went... Maybe it's my webcam. Turn on the overhead light, please. I am. Oh, you're, you've got like a lag, girl. Let's see if light helps it. I'm watching. See, my, like right here on StreamYard where I run this, it's clear as a bell. But I'm seeing what you guys are seeing. It so, is not your webcam. Maybe the webcam wasn't getting enough light. I don't know. It's, it's not your webcam. It's got to be an internet thing because it's fine over there. That's also your webcam. Yeah, well, even StreamYard, like, connection is unstable. If you're on Wi-Fi, try plugging into your router or moving closer to it. Well, not. I'm. So I think we're going to do most of this from my phone. We're going to have to figure that out. Oh, Rachel went to go get her little Wi-Fi stick. It's itty bitty. It's what? It's itty bitty. It's itty bitty. Uh, let's hope that fits somewhere in my computer. No, it's just itty bitty. But I don't have the software for this, I bet. I bet this isn't just going to instantly work. It Ooh. instantly worked for me. That's hot. Let's try it. I don't even know if I have the password to our Wi-Fi on this I, computer. I, I know what it is. Naked, we're already behind schedule. We should be starting already. All right, let me switch to Wi-Fi. Where's Wi-Fi? Uh, oh, wait. What? It's not. Oh. Show available networks. Here we go. That one? That one? What's the? You have to type it in. You have the keyboard. Ah. Don't say it out loud. It's the password. <laughs> I think that should be it. Unless I spelled it wrong. I'm pixelated. I don't like being pixelated. It's still verifying and connecting. This is crazy. Yes, Melissa, I'm breathing. I'm on I just don't count again. I just don't like being behind schedule and because there's only so much time to get through all the stuff that I showed on the preview. And so this kind of puts a damper in thing. I'm going to go ahead and explain the auction while, no, that wasn't it. We're still trying to get connected here. Hopefully it keeps me connected one way. Do you want to allow your PC to be, um, yes, it's fine. Is that it? I don't know yet. It's checking network requirements, whatever that means. We changed the password, right? I don't remember. I'm, you guys, who has issues with passwords? Because passwords are the bane of my existence. I, no, that wasn't it. We'll just keep trying until we get locked out. <laughs> I don't think you can get locked out. Okay. The way this works, everything starts at a dollar. I can't see the chat right now either because this is trying. You can see the chat here, can't you? Not really. Not really. Okay. I'm just going to let that do whatever it's doing. Um, <laughs> everything will be on the close-up cam that that isn't blurry. So we do have that. Okay. 
Everything starts at a dollar. It's in bidding format. It is an auction. All are sold as is, where is, no guarantees. And I sadly have to add this in here now. There's no returns. There's no returns on these sales, guys. So ask questions. Be sure you are buying what you want to buy. Um, I cannot, I cannot do returns because they're after us. Um, I cannot do returns on these sales. Uh, that is why we do it auction format to keep it as fair as possible. I can answer your questions. It just, it takes away from the foundation who gets a portion of the proceeds and the foundation, the niche foundation is the nonprofit I formed to help disadvantaged women build their own online businesses. So that is actually why I started the whole live sale thing. Make sure you are in live chat, not top chat, that uh, Facebook or Facebook, like YouTube likes to put you in. Um, are we connected? Did it connect? Hold on. Let me double, double check here. Now it's not showing me anything, but it's going on. Yes. Oh, here it is. Okay. You're connected. No, you're not connected. Not connected. Go ask Noah what the password is or something, because we have to do one or the other. We got it. We got to make this work. I can't afford to take two weeks off. I just can't do it. The attorneys want money. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Rachel's going to go talk to her brother about that. If something is broken, that's a completely different thing. I'm not going to ask you to return a broken item. Everything is insured whether it's insured by the post office or if it's insured by me, everything is 100% insured for breakage in the mail. So that's never going to be an issue. I'm just talking about changing your mind. And I'm saying that because I've had several of those requests and um, it's frustrating. So because there's only so much time to get through so many lots of stuff and we have to keep it moving. Oh, Noah just gave her the password. It should be. He said he he does verifying and connecting. It says that every time. I hate I hate passwords. I hate them. Um, so let's see what else. If you spend twenty five dollars or more in this sale, the jewelry sale, there will be free shipping, and that doesn't matter if it's one item or ten items. Once you've spent twenty five dollars, it's free shipping. So keep that in mind. Oh my goodness. Come on. Um, um, okay. So to, to register to bid, please send an email over to the niche lady at gmail.com. The niche lady at gmail.com. It's scrolling right under me at all times. In case you forget the moderators over here, will post it several times throughout the sale in case you come in afterwards which you wouldn't be hearing me say that right now if you come in afterwards, but that's okay. Oh, wait, I don't know if that connect. Wait, it did it. We can't get the Wi-Fi connected because we can't remember the password. Ain't that special. Um, oh, I also cannot see my, ooh, this is really going to be, we need a, sec a second, we need a second computer to do this. Because you're going to have to pull, hold on, let me, I have to pull this over to you so that what? you can tell me oh. what the next lot is too. <laughs> okay. Yes, I will ship to Canada, but the free shipping does not apply. I will give a discount as to whatever the, the um, domestic shipping would have been. I'll discount that much off of your shipping and then you'll have to pay the rest. If you purchase more than you know, in the 30 to $35 range, I will need to send it in a flat rate envelope versus first class. Um, or I will have to add the insurance. Yeah, I can do that too. Whichever is cheaper. I'm always going to try to do the cheapest rate for you. And I go through pirate ship. So I get the best rates that are out there. It may be on the modem. No, because we set up our own password. So we didn't keep those. <clears throat> 
<coughs> we did not keep those settings. We changed the password, but um, I am not sure what we changed it to. <sighs> Which is something that we're going to have to figure out at some point. And if everybody comes in here and thinks that the Wi-Fi is just, or the picture's just bad. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> yes, the stinks, the stinks. I don't like things not to run as they should. And I don't understand when I'm paying, uh, you know, $150 a month for high-speed internet that I'm even having these issues. See, that's what really gets me, which makes me wonder if somewhere the cord going into the modem, can you go have him trace the line coming into his room from here, make sure it's not got something setting on it or something and have him pull it out of the router and plug it back in. So we're gonna, <clears throat> oops. Ah, you see me, but you can't hear me. Hold on. So can you guys hear me now? Me. Let's mute that one. Okay. Let's see if that fixed it. Stand by. There's two of you. There's two of me. I <laughs> know. I wish there was two of me. Let's see. Nope. We're still pixelated. We're still bad. It's and I can't get on the Wi-Fi because we don't know what the password is because the Wi-Fi is doing better don't than... Don't say the password out loud. So if you could figure out what that password is... You made the password. Is it the one that starts with P? No. no. The one that starts with I? No. Can I use this? Oh, you know what? If you tickle my, my memory, maybe that's well, not it's, capital. It's not. It's not. Try making that lowercase. Try making that lowercase. Hold on. I wait, wait. I gotta actually get you in the. All right, we're gonna give this one more try. <laughs> oh, you guys don't want to sit here while I'm calling the cable company. Oh, trust me. Afterwards, they're gonna hear this. But believe me, they are gonna hear about this. Hey, that's better. It looks like it's clearing up. It looks like it might be clearing up. But no, I'm, I keep getting the warning from connection is fairly good. Why are you seeing that? Is it too early to drink? <laughs> yes. We should already have done like four lots of stuff by now. It does look like it's clearing up. Whatever he did, it looks like. I'm doing. You didn't unplug it and plug it back in? I did, but you said you changed it. 
Well, it looks like it might have. Because look. Probably just a rough spot in the connection right now. No, it's going back down. To, no, that's. Try 2020 instead of 2021. I have. Oh. Try no exclamation on the end. Well, I'm just telling you. Don't keep trying the same one you've already tried. We got to try something different. I am. Okay. Do no. Do this. Is it you sure it's that? Or is it it might be. Or is it that? Might be. Stand by. Mm. No, I don't know. It's still blurry. What? The question mark was very necessary. Oh, maybe. I don't know. <sighs> Press the thing. Sorry. We don't have any. That's what we just did. We just had Noah. You don't have anything. It's not better. It's totally pixelated. I don't know how we're going to do this. All right. I guess Stop. we're going to do the best we can. The problem, here's the problem, guys, is, you know, I have some really good stuff in the auction. And if you guys can't see it, because I start everything at a dollar, it's not going to bring the prices it needs to bring. And um, that's my concern. And my phone is going nuts. Let's see. Noah is telling me that's what he thinks the password is. I'm trying to. Oh, he says there's high latency on the router. I have no idea what high latency on the router means. I don't even know. He's he's just being slow. So that's just that's a internet issue or. My internet has been a So it is the internet, but why is Wi-Fi working better than hardwired? I don't think it is. Can you make sure both TVs are turned completely off so they're not pulling any bandwidth? Yeah. Sometimes I leave the TVs just like as, you know, in their little background. Okay, are we giving up on connecting to the Wi-Fi? Yeah. All right, we're going to do the best we can, guys. I may have to do another pop-up sale this week. I've tried every to get variation things. of the past. Yeah, I don't day. know when I would reschedule. That's the thing. I don't want to. I don't want to step on anybody else's time slots for live sales. And honestly, I don't even know when I would have time for another live sale. Oh no, the phone is a hot spot. Would not. That would not be good. Yeah. Well. Let's do what we can do, and let's see where we go, and um, um, we'll just go with it. Thank you guys for kind of putting up with this. What I need to see, though, how are we going to do this? I need to see. There we are. Can you help me with that? Yeah. You can kind of flip over and tell me what the next item is. All right. So I, I picked something that is a good little starter something so everybody gets the hang of this um may need a new router well this one's brand new <laughs> uh me and cox cable we've gone round and round many times trust me trust me so um i don't know so i have a bag of little buttons and we're gonna this is just a fun little start to the auction so you can see how it's gonna go um so I don't start with, you know, like my high end stuff, but there's a bunch of little vintage buttons and I'm going to just get the close up cam going right now. All right. And we'll dump them out. You start the bid at $1. How it works. You just type your bid into the comment. You don't have to put a dollar sign. You just put the number and we have moderators over there that are going to call when uh, we get to the end of the bidding. Yep, you can go ahead and start bidding. I see Carla C at $1. So go ahead and start bidding. And what happens, I will say, 
the countdown at the end. I'm not going to say it now because I'll trick you. You, you have that the way. thing on the wrong setting. What do you mean I have the thing on the See, wrong it's, setting? It's doing this instead of just making two screens. You just press the Oops. Second. That's better. Thank you, Rachel. I'm a little flustered. You keep me straight here. Um, they're saying turn camera horizontal. There we go. That's better. I think that's what they meant, though. They couldn't really see. And get closer so they can see some close-ups. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, you guys can see the close-up cam. So we have moderators over there that are going to call things. So this is like the little example here. This is a real sale right now. You're going to see how this works. And at the end, you're going to see how the moderators end this. Um, we are at $6 with Carla C. All right. See, I see no other bids coming in. So I'm going to say going once. Uh-oh. Joni's got to get covered there. Going twice. And this gives enough time for the lag and all of that good stuff before I say sold. And what I do normally is I pop that off of there so that Rachel it? has a minute to put those things back in the bag for me. And I can't call the winner just yet because there's this little 15 to 20 second delay. And there it is. So Bree, one of my moderators, has called it sold. And so we go back up. We see that the winner was Carla C at $6.00. And our backup bidder was Brie. Now, the reason that the backup bidder is important is at the end of the sale, I give stuff away. So in the first 15 lots, if you are the winning bid or the backup bidder, you, you not your name, it's all done by numbers, but you are in a drawing to win goodies that I just throw in your package for free or send to you for free. So that's why that's important. And we will have good giveaways. Okay. Now, of course, I have to see what's next. Boy, we are going to be multitasking supreme here. All right. And I put that little um, shelf over there. You can put the sold items over. Our, there you go. Try to kind of keep them in order. Right. Those are cute. I have three little sitabouts. And we call figurines sitabouts around here for those who are, are new to my channel. So I got to get in the habit here of just putting Rachel right on the screen. So you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for you. There you go. Okay. So the first item is this cute little Tanala quail. It's a little miniature Tanala quail marked Mexico, as you can see on there. Oh, no. But there's more. There is a seductive grasshopper. It's a seductive grasshopper, but that you're not showing him yet. Go with my voice here, girl. Like, show him. <laughs> All right, we got the grasshopper, but oh no, there's more. There's an owl with a snail on its head. Show him that. You got the owl with the snail on his head. He's resin. These two are pottery or ceramic. So you're getting all three, one money, and we are at $6 with Mary. I see $8 with Yaya's Discoveries. Um, Deborah, do you, okay, I see your $20 bid. Is it is it the quail or is it the seductive grasshopper? That's tickling your fancy right there. So I see Deborah at 20. I see Deborah at 20. Welcome back, Joni. And we're going to count this one down going once, going twice. Oh, she likes the owl. Oh, really? You like the owl? Okay. And we're going to call this lot sold. All right. Moving right along. Oh, yep. You can put them over there. All I right. I did with the ruler. I, I see what you did with the ruler. All right, I have to go over here. Aha, this is going to get interesting now. All right, so our winner. Oh, thank you for doing that, Deborah, because that reminds me what I need to remind people of. 
So Deborah Heimbecker got that for $20, but you notice she threw in a bid there right at the end because those of you go to these live sales and they do what's called offer ups or they do an auction format. A lot of people know how to do what's called sniping where you come in and try to get that last bid in at the last minute. So if you want to put in a bigger bid than your bid is sitting at, rest assured, I will not let you outbid yourself. So she got that for 20 because nobody else bid, but she wanted to be sure she got it. So she put in that bid. So perfectly okay to do. And just know that I will not take your highest bid. I will only take the bid where somebody has outbid you. Okay. What did I say was next? All right. This is going to be a challenge. You want me to keep it on the, what? Can check the messages. I can't check my messages. What would you like to tell me, Noah? Yeah, okay. Can you let him know, like, I'm in the middle of something right now <laughs> and uh, figure out what I owe. All right. We have eight necklaces. Eight necklaces. And we're going to show them to you. And normally I would show them to you, but I guess uh, Rachel's going to have to. So I'm going to hand them to her one at a time. This one is marked. This is a Joan Rivers. Ooh, there's a Joan Rivers in here. Okay, let me put her back on the thing. We're going to just try to make this work. There are eight. This one is this one is a Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers jewelry sells for really good money. There you go. You can see. There's that one. I've got this really nice kind of a dainty chain that can double up or you can wear it long. We've got that one. We've got, this is kind of a cool one with the, it's got, I thought they were wood beads. They're not. They're little metal. Of course, I'm not even going to try to show you the close up on that. I am really mad at my internet company right now. Like you cannot believe how mad I am at my internet company. I've got a kind of a, just a long gold chain. We've got another one with beads like a silk. Right there. I think the Joan Rivers is probably the good one. We've got another just a chain. We've got dogs barking. We've got Peanut. <laughs> and we've got Rachel yelling at the dogs, which is always like so it's like yelling at the dogs, dogs barking, it's all the same. Oh, I'm trying to show you and I don't even know why. We've got this. This one has a little bit of wear on it where like the kind of a silver tone is starting to show through the gold. Like when you just go ahead for Yeah. What is it? 213. What? 213. How many hours has it been there? Ah. Uh, is there change from the Home Depot? Because I already gave him part of that. Okay. Stand by a minute. Muting my sound. Need to deal with something. Okay, the math is all worked out. 
Um, I forgot he bought materials too. I was kind of like, why he upped his like hourly rate on me, but nope, nope, nope. That was for materials too. We're good. We are at $20 with Mary Spry on all eight of the necklaces, including the Joan Rivers. Yep. Eight necklaces. This is what I was afraid of guys. Eight necklaces for $20, but Hey, it's an auction. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. And you never let me so you had plenty of time to finish. I did not. Okay, now keep those all together over there. All right. And it looks like the winner is going to be Lindsay Franzoni for 25 with Melissa coming in as the underbidder. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I hope you make some really, really good money on those. You should. All right. We've got some rhinestone pins. I think two of these are vintage. Two of these are, are not. All right. They are as follows. Are we clearing up? But we're still not clearing up. All right, I'm gonna have to go right to the close-up cam. First, we have, I don't know, this one might be vintage. So we have this one, it's kind of large. You can see it, if you put it next to the ruler, they can kind of just see how large it is. And we have this one I know is not old. This one is not old. This is a more modern one. This one is really, oh, is this signed? <gasps> this is signed, stand by. Stand by. It is Artella. Is there something called Artella or War Martella? Martella? Martella. My jewelry people. Martella. Is that a thing? This is what it looks like. That one's signed Martella. I think is what it says. And then this one I do believe is vintage also. This one might be missing. I don't know if that's a dead stone. Yeah, it's a dead stone. No, wait, it's a missing stone. This one has a little missing stone on it. Maybe, I can't tell. Wait, no, no, the stone is there. It's a dead stone. Dead stone just means like moisture got behind this stone and made it dark. On this one right over here on this side, you can kind of see it. Try not to move very fast because that's what's causing that kind of a lag. Just move slow. Okay. Yeah. Marvella. Oh, Marvella. Okay. Well, we can show you. Got rid of the shadow. Okay. You can show them the Marvella right there. You notice Rachel and I have matching fingernails this week. So you have to guess whose finger is in the picture. No, it's definitely an M-A-R. So it's Marvella. Marvella. All right. Well, let's bid on them. You're getting all four, all four of the pins. And we have $10 with Melissa, 1906 to 1982. This looks like probably, I'm going to guess just the style of it looks 50-ish to me. That's what it looks like. You who are jewelry people know better than me. Oh, you want to see... I don't know if that was delayed. You want to see the front of it again. I've got $20 with Brie. I meant 20 with Brie. And I got two people tried to come in at 15. Give the lag a little bit. Wouldn't it be really nice if our internet just cleared up in the next 15 minutes? Uh, that would be really awesome. Okay. I'm at 22 with Melissa. I've got 22 with Melissa. 23 with Belinda Carroll. I'm at 23 with Belinda. We're going to start counting them down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count them down. You did get rid of the shadow. Look at you, girl. Now, hopefully you don't run out of battery. Going once. Going twice. I see 24 came in in two spots, so I'm hoping I got Brie first. I got Brie at 24 first. 
So I always, before I call it, I'd like to give just a second for somebody to come in and fix it. And by the way, we're at free shipping on these now. Remember, $25 is free shipping. So we are at, is the top one upside down? The top one. Is it upside down? No, it's symmetrical. So I don't, there's not really a upside down to it. I've got 25 in three places, but Belinda got it in first. So I've got Belinda at 25. And I'm going to call them sold. All right. And you can move those over there. Oh, look, we got a little, we got a little system going now. We got a little system going now. Probably just not going to get through that many lots as we would like. We'll have to do some changing up. And there's the sold, and it, let's see, it looks like Roylene got in there for $30. $30 to Roylene. Nicely done. Thank you, everyone. I got to wait till Rachel can come back. back. We have a nice, now, I, you know, I was shopping purple, so I found this beautiful purple set of Jacqueline Smith jewelry, new in the package. Um, it doesn't have the top to the box. It just has the this part of the box and the jewelry has never been off of its little thing here as you can see the back so we've got Jacqueline Smith I'm thinking Charlie's Angels all the way there you go why are you laughing you don't even know what Charlie's Angels no. is do you look Pay attention. she's drawing me scoops show them the jewelry she's drawing she's drawing me her birdie let's see if you guys can see that Okay, we have not done the rings yet. No, we just, Roylene, we just barely got started because we were having technical. You couldn't see the scoop. Oh, you couldn't see the scoop. Well, hopefully it'll clear up and you guys will be able to see the scoop. At least they can see that. It's really pretty. I've got Mary Spry at $10. I've got Mary at $10. Pardon me for one. Who? You. What do you mean staying still? Staying still. I can't stay still. Are you crazy? Wait, did you try to get the blur? Could it's it be? not going to matter. It's Could just, it? it's the internet connection. Are it's sure the latency not? speed, whatever that means. I don't understand. I mean, it's probably a modem reset thing, but then we lose everything. Actually, we could, no, I'll lose this. I'll lose my whole live stream thing. Lose yeah, no, you wouldn't because you're on Wi Fi. No, the Wi Fi goes up. Never mind. Yeah. I'm such a technical dummy. <laughs> All right, <laughs> never mind. I love that I put my technical stupidity out there for everyone to hear. Hopefully, I've got Belinda at 15. <laughs> hopefully, I can remember the Wi Fi password and I have to plug mine back in. Yeah, that, no, it's already automatically saved in there. Is it? Yeah. All right, we're at 15. Going once. <laughs> Going twice. And I hope you guys are getting the underbitter action over there, too, because I haven't been calling them out for you either. So hopefully, hopefully, you're fine with that. And sold. All right, I'm going to, you know what? There's no reason for that to be on your screen. I can put it over here so you never have to be off of there. Ain't that a beautiful thing? Okay, so and I do. I well, that's fine then. All right, I do see what's next. Oh, I'm going to have a very empty shelf behind me in a minute. All right, there's our soul. And that went to Tristan Magadi. And I do not recognize that name, so that'll be one you're going to need to. I need the mouse. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got the mouse. Go. Why are you looking at me? She's looking at me like. Because you were holding it. I was trying to help you. But you got to be speedy. No, if you've already registered or you've purchased from me, you do not need to register again. Oh. Oh, no. we have no tiger today. No, no. Thank you, Melissa. 
Okay, uh, Tristan Magadia is not registered to bid. We're going to give you like one minute to send the email over with your real name, your YouTube name, just as it appears over here in the chat, and your zip code. If we do not get that, we are going to go to the underbidder on that. Just saying, just saying, come on. I make it really, really easy to follow the rules here. Okay. Um, this is a lot of two items. By the time we finish this, if we don't have that email, we're going to go to the underbidder on that last lot. Okie dokie, okie dokie. You're going to get two owl items as follows. The uh, cloisonne owl. Sit about, I need to just give it to Rachel. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm trying here. Oh, I got to get I got to get the mouse back here. Okay, here we go. You clicked me off. Can you click me back on? What do you mean? Oh, sorry. Oopsie. All right. There you go. Hey, we'll, we'll get it worked out. We need a second computer. That's all. We got to get the laptop working. The laptop that I purchased, the charging cord is funky, so it's not charging it. So we have to buy a new charging cord. But of course, it's an Apple, so you can't just buy any charging cord. You have to get an Apple charging cord. So by the next jewelry sale. We'll have that worked out. All right. It's not just the cloisonne though. It's also this guy. Check him out. Let's see if it'll focus at it's all. Not. Well, you can't even see it yet. I can see it on here. You can't see it yet. I can see it on this. There. There he is. Oh yeah. That looks really good on there. Doesn't it? Here. <laughs> he's, really he's double sided mosaic. So you can see he's got little mirrored tiles in there. I don't even know what all he's made of. And he's got all of these little, I think they're glass. And he's the same on both sides. And they've got him, you know, on just a ribbon. I think he's meant to be a pendant. Um, and he is like a 3D kind of dude with little beads in him. He's really, really fascinating. This one little eye is a little bit raised up. But it's not, I mean, it's not bad. Just wanted to point that out, though. So you're going to get the cloisonne and the little mosaic guy, both for one money. Both for one money. Um, I need to click over here real quick and see. Just hold steady. I'm going to see if we got that email yet. Because I do believe we may need to... Um, we do not have Tristan's email. Tristan, please stop bidding until you send. You have to press enter again to make sure. Let's see. Did you just try to? I don't you know don't, what. I don't know what. I'm... No, it didn't. Nope. Don't have it. Let me just go see what the newest. Here. We do not have. Nope. All right. Tristan, last chance. We cannot have you bidding if you have not registered. Uh, it's not fair to everybody else. Okay. So now let me, I have to scroll over here and see where we're at. Oh, Deborah likes owls. I see Deborah at $20. I see Deborah at $20. Yep. Tristan has to the end of this lot and you will not be able to ever bid again because we will just hide you from the channel. Can you hold the owl up again? Which They're one? Both owls. Yeah, I know. I think she meant the one that I was holding before. This one. That's like a 3D kind of a puffy owl kind of a thing going on here. All right. And then we've got the cloisonne. All right. Oh, the first one? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, go slow. Go slow because it's... Um, where are we at? I'm at $20 with Deborah Heimbecker. We're going to say going once. We're going to... Uh, the only people that have blue are my moderators. You will not show up as blue. Going twice, Barbara Beard for $22 is where I see it. 
I've got the owl lover for 26. That's yep, we'll have to check that in a minute. I've got Deborah Heinbecker. I've got Deborah Heinbecker at $27. I think I said going twice already, didn't I? You did now. Oh, I did now. <laughs> and we're going to call it so. Okay. Oh, I don't need to be holding this anymore. No, you can stick those over there because I can keep track of those. All right, I'm going to check. See, this stuff takes time, and that's what frustrates us is that people cause us not to be able to. Yeah, Tristan is not here. Um, what was the other one? Oh, here. Oh, should I copy and paste it for you? No, you I can't. can't copy paste it from there. I can copy paste. But you have to go. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Like, we're such a team. We're yeah. such a team. Is that it? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. The owl lover. It's, it's his sex. Yeah, but I don't. Okay. I don't specifically. Okay. So I, I do have an email from you to Owl Lover, but it wasn't a registration email. Um, that it would just be easier for me. I, I I can find you, but I have to kind of hunt you down. So if you could just send another email over, I mean you're fine a bit and everything, but um, just so I have your info with your because I don't have your zip code for some reason. So if you could send that, that would be fantastic. Okay. There's the sold. It looks like Deborah Heimbecker for $30 on the owls. On the owls. Okay. Let me see what is next. This is really making life interesting, isn't it? We're not going to get through most of this stuff. I'm pretty sure we're going to do a part two of this sale. I just don't know when. Um, okay. How about some bracelets? I got bracelets. Five of them, guys. Five bracelets in this lot. And they all are chunky beaded. Um, most of them have like this one is wood and glass and shell. Two of them are wood and glass and shell. Glass, glass. There's only one that has plastic beads, but even those are pretty fantastic. So let me show you what you're getting with these five as soon as Rachel is ready. You ready? She's ready. All right, let me show you the plastic one first. Um, it's hand painted. I don't know what you call these seeds, but I think those are seeds. Those are shells. Are they shells? Those are shells. No, they're not shells. The big ones? Or yeah, no, the big ones. Oh. Yeah, see these? I think they're some kind of a seed. And they're hand painted. I believe they're hand painted. Those are shells. Those are those are little shells. Yeah, it's very interesting that one right there. And then this one is, I think this one is like fused glass. I mean, now it's it's enameled. The glass that the painting is enameled on there. They're glass with little butterflies and flowers and all of that. This one is Halloween themed. I know we're nowhere near Halloween, but we will be soon. But look. Little skeleton. These are all glass. These are fused glass. Those are fused glass beads. Those are awesome. And then the last two are very similar. These ones are have the wood and the shell. And these almost feel like porcelain beads. I'm not sure what those ones are, but these are like these are definitely shell, like a iridescent, almost like an abalone, but I don't think they are. Maybe they are abalone. It could be abalone. All right. You're getting all five. And I only see a $6 bid. <laughs> like, um, tidbits and treasures, Tammy's at 10. Are they Buckeyes? Maybe. Buckeyes. Maybe. I don't, I don't know what a Buckeye is. That's why I say maybe. <laughs> 
Yeah, they do look like some kind of a little nut or a seed pod or, you know, something like that. 15 with Roiling. Thank you. It's all five necklaces. Uh, necklaces. Bracelets. All five bracelets. $18 with tidbits and treasures. I'm at 18 with tidbits and treasures. And 19 with, I see, Sherry, you need to check your emails because I've been trying to reach you. Um, so until I, we got to straighten that out, Sherry. Um, so I've got Patricia at 19. Yeah, I do think they are from Hawaii. They look very Hawaiian too. 21 with Belinda. I'm at 21 with Belinda. Carla, you came in right behind Belinda. 25, we are now at free shipping. We are at free shipping on the bracelets. A preview header. I don't know one. I don't know. I know she's asking somebody else. I'm like, what's that? All right. We're at $25 on the five bracelets going once. They are now free shipping as well. Is she talking about the thing on the screen? Where it says preview? Where does it say preview? You can't see it? Where does it? Oh. Oh. That's because. Why does it say preview? That's a setting in StreamYard. You're going to need to, after this no, lot. You, I, it's, it's something you control. No. No, it's not. It isn't? Uh-uh. We can fix that, though. Yep. And it says Danny. That's Ooh. interesting. Well, yeah, because that's what I said. So something in here, because I probably did a preview, and I don't know. We'll fix it. It's always had that. No. It has. Hmm. No. It has. You can go look back on your past lives. Has it always said preview? It shouldn't it say preview. No. Yes. It should say like item up for bid. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's the close up cam. I see it now. Okay. We're going once. This is getting blurry. We're going twice. Let's call this one. Sold. Okay, I will fix that while you move those over. Because someone uh, uh, says uh. they want to bid on me. They want to bid on you? Yeah. Oh my! I might bet on her. What is not bet? bid? What is, what's his Meaning name? they think that you're right, and I'm. See here, it's display name. This is how we change that. Dun, 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 dun. Can? All right, all right. Man, you're so picky. <laughs> it's not a can. People are that complaint. How about some butterflies, guys? How about some butterflies? Boy, this is just one of those, one of those sales, huh? All right. This is a three-piece butterfly lot. Until Rachel's ready, I'm just going to kind of show you. We got one necklace. We have a dichroic glass. Ooh, wait a minute. You're going to come off of there because I don't have you fastened. Oh, stand by. Here we go. Oh, I did. We have a, no, it's not. Can you fasten that before I pass you over to the close-up cam? And then we have a pin. So you're going to get two necklaces. And a pin. I'm going to put this over here while she's fastening that. I'm going to put the close up cam on. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's broken? Is it just, a, is it an easy fix? No, it's a lobster cloth. Oh, so you'll, you'll have to change it over to another. That's okay because the value is in the actual pendant. Okay, the value is in the pendant, not in the little ribbon it's on. Oh, it would help. Hold on. Holy smokers, you're seeing my ceiling fan. Can you get it on the right camera here now? 
Why are you Man! It's not... It is not my day. It is not my day. There. Now. Go. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. Yes, if you're just coming in, we are having some technical difficulties today. That's why we are putting everything straight over onto the close-up cam because um, I'm I'm having issues. You have this upside down. There he is. Down. Upside down butterfly. All right. So two pendants and a pin. Two pendants and a pin. And let's show them each one at a time here. Okay. And if I could just make all the sound work together, I would just take myself off and give her a full screen. But then we got these weird echo issues that I have not figured out how to fix that either. Okay. Are you showing? You got to get closer up. Closer up. Yep. So here is the pin. It's an enameled pin. Here you go. Let me show you the back of the pin. Is this close up enough? There's the back of the pin. Don't be smart. They need to be able to see. It's not focused when you do that, Rachel. All right. There's the butterfly, and he's 3D. So back up a little bit. He's 3D. You can see his wings have two different little things going there. And then this is dichroic glass. Dichroic glass. And the back Where is... is red i know i know they're saying shadow now we got a shadow <laughs> I just <picked> him up. <laughs> all right i see 27 dollars with warren this is not a betsy johnson this one is not a betsy johnson i do have a betsy johnson coming but this one is just a like a fashion jewelry piece Keep that in mind. Thirty dollars with Barbara Phillips. I got thirty with Barbara, and we are at free shipping. What is the red butterfly made of? It's rhinestones. It's rhinestones on a metal base. So here's the back. There's the back, and then it's all layered, doubled wings and rhinestones on both wings. I don't see a mark anywhere. Yeah, that's pretty good size too. All right. Thank you, Jeannie. I'm at 32, going once. Going twice. And we're gonna call the butterflies. Ooh. All right. We have not even gotten to, oh my goodness, we are so far behind. Okay. Can you take me both? I did. Which, wait a minute. I got to figure out. Someone says, okay. I'd like to bid, what do I need to do also? Do you have paper? I don't remember. I think it's this one. Hold on. I heard you. Just hold on. I got to figure out. Where I'm at. Oh, wrong ones. That's what I thought I was doing wrong. Okay. Okay. Um, invoices will be sent out usually by tonight, maybe by tomorrow. Uh, so do not pay until you get an invoice. And then, yes, you can pay by PayPal, credit card, however you want. The invoices come from PayPal, but you have multiple ways you can choose to pay that. But I do send out the invoices. So if you pay me before you get that invoice, I have to refund you. And and that's kind of a, a hassle. So just wait. <laughs> just wait. And what was the rest of that question? Uh, how you, they, they don't know how to pre-register. Um, the, the mod got it. Okay. Moderators are on it. You just send an email. Okay, you're going to get three sets of earrings. I'm just going to hand this over to you. Now, these are the really cool earrings that I was talking about a while back. Oops, I guess I, I have to pick up the screen. This box. 
Yes, Rachel helped me pick these boxes out. So you're going to get, let me show them the case. Hold on, hold on. You're going to get this cute little case with the panda bears and the bamboo on it. And it has four little slots inside. And there's three pair of clip-on earrings, groovy clip-on earrings. Those look so 60s right there. These ones have glass in them. And I had several people asking me about these. That's glass inside of, I believe it's glass. Let me, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's glass. If no, wait, hold on. Stand by. It's not glass. Wait. Gosh, it's, sometimes it's so hard to tell. Okay, I don't. Now that I feel it, I don't think it's glass. It looks like glass, but I think it's acrylic. I think it might be acrylic. Yeah. That, that light's casting more shadow. You're casting more shadow. There you go. They're really cool, though. So you're getting the three pair of earrings in the case. And those cases are brand new. We picked those up brand new from this cute little dog rescue thrift store. Um, don't show the rest of my messy desk. <laughs> what? Don't show my messy desk. <laughs> Rachel, what's your favorite horse? Clydesdale. Clydesdale. Uh, it's not cold. That's why I changed my mind because it's not cold. It's not yeah, cold. I know Rachel's feed is also not. I know. I know. We're having all kinds of issues today. All kinds of issues today. It's very frustrating. I'm very frustrated. <sighs> it is Saturday morning at 7 a.m. in Australia. It always is so fascinating to me how the time can be so different. Yeah. Oh, there. There you go. Nice. All right. Was there any interest in? There we go. I'm seeing the bids now. I got $10 with Melissa. I got 15 with Carly. 15 with Carly. I have not been able to check. Dow Lover, we'll check in a moment. I'm at $15 with Carly on the three pair of vintage earrings with the case. Going once. Going twice. And sold. I don't know how you say that. Akal Teaks which are related to Arabians. Wasn't it the Akaltiks that the Arabians kind of like came from? I don't know. I could be totally off base. All right. I'm just going to place this here now. All right. Um, let's look here. Oh, goodness. I don't know. Can you type in? There, there it's already there. Look. No, we did. I didn't get it yet. I didn't you get it yet. You might have to click on that because sometimes Gmail likes to combine emails. Yeah, that's only if it's in the same thread, though. So we don't have a new email yet. Okay. All wait, good. Wait, go back. Can't. Got to keep going. <laughs> Got to keep moving. Got to keep moving. Time is money. Oh, okay, Sherry. I got gotcha. you. Thank you. All good now. All good now. Okay. The next item up for your bidding pleasure is a set with dichroic glass. Now, somebody was telling me that Murano makes these. I'm not going to represent this as Murano um, because... I just don't know it. It's Murano style. Hold on. I'm looking at something. I'm inspecting, making sure. Yeah, it's not Murano. I'm not going to call it Murano. But you're going to get a necklace. Whoops. I keep forgetting to do this. That light is not helping. That light is not helping. It's, it's casting other weird shadows. It's making it worse, I think. Hold on. Let me see if I can hold the light and help. And you show. You're going to get the earrings and the necklace. Plus, I am going to be, I am going to have to, um, yes, see, now, that's just not, that's not working. 
I need a studio, man. I just need to, I need to get things set up because I am so frustrated with things. Yes, I am pixelated. I am. I'm very pixelated today. Just call me Pixie. Yes, we have a very good, well-running system here. Don't worry if you won something. We have got it in our spreadsheet. We've got moderators over there keeping track. We are good. We're good. It's still shadowy to me, but they think you need to get like closer too so they can really see the detail on that. That's the part you have to show them is the detail. That's the whole point of the close-up cam. All right. I just saw something about Clydesdales. Um, I'm from Massachusetts. The so Clydesdale horses are very popular. Are they popular where you live? Not so much. It's very, very hard to get draft horse farriers on the West Coast. I used to live in California and we had a Belgian and we actually had one of the farriers that worked with the, the Budweiser Clydesdales whose farm was literally a few blocks down the road. We got to go get the tour of that farm. That was pretty cool. Um, but very, very difficult to keep up the feet of a draft horse. Most farriers do not like to do them. Why? It is backbreaking. Uh, regular farrier work is backbreaking. Imagine doing those big monster horses. Like, oh, yeah. All right, we are at $23 with Warren. Now both cameras are pixelating. They are. Yep. That is because my internet sucks today for some reason. I really, I don't know. I want, does our internet, I don't know if our internet goes underground to the house or if it goes over from the telephone line, but we were digging in the backyard today. I'm just saying, I really hope we didn't nick something. My internet has been funky. I don't know. But I'm on Wi-Fi. Well, the Wi-Fi still comes into the router. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We, we should not have too many devices. Well, I've done so many of these sales and we've never had this problem. So, I mean, my internet hasn't changed and I pay for the top, top service so that we don't have these problems. So my internet company is going to be getting a few choice words. We don't have too many devices using the same channel. No, we don't. It's not those issues, guys. It's not. It is just crappy internet service right now. We're at $30 with Warren. And it, I, I can't even, like, if I had to pick something that stressed me out more than anything, it's, it's this kind of stuff where I have no control over fixing it and I'm paying an enormous amount to not have these problems and I still have these problems. That, oh, yeah, it is, it is beyond frustrating because it costs money. Like, it costs, I can't get through all of the things that I need to sell today. I know that my high-end items are not going to bring as much as they would if you guys could truly see them and, and trusted being able to bid on them. So that's why it is really, it's not, it's not StreamYard. It's not StreamYard. It is the internet service. I mean, I guess it could be StreamYard, but I doubt it's StreamYard. All right. Where are we at? I saw. We've had no problems with StreamYard in the past. Yeah, it hasn't been a problem in the past. Warren is at thirty dollars. I pay for one of the top levels of StreamYard as well. So I got thirty dollars, thirty-one, thirty-five with Laura Goodman. We're at free shipping on this item. And keep in mind, those of you who have already spent twenty-five dollars, no matter what you bid on now, it's free shipping included. Um. Thank you, Denise. Unfortunately, they don't, though. That's like, I mean, most of you are great, but trust me, I will get, I will get the hate mail over this. I it, it kills me. <laughs> like, I'm le learning to like have you know, big shoulders to roll things off of. But you guys don't see half of the comments that come through when stuff like that. I'm dreading it. 
I'm dreading it. All right, we are at forty-three dollars with Warren. I don't know yet. Uh, forty-three dollars going once. Going twice. Oh, vintage and vino. Knock on wood. Everybody, knock on wood. <laughs> You're gonna jinx it. And let's call this sold. <laughs> Bigger. If everybody knocks on wood, then we'll be good, right? I'm going to just place them up here. Otherwise, I'm going to have this big empty shelf up here by the time I'm done. <laughs> and there's the sold. Warren got that for $43. Thank you so much. It is a beautiful set. Ooh, as is the purple beaded necklace and earring set that is next. Oh, stand by. I left my price tag on there. Da, la, da, da, da. Let's sing a show tune, yeah. shall we? Yeah. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better Sorry. than you. Okay. You Name that tune. Voice. Who knows what musical that song is from? What musical is that song from? No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Thank you, Mom. Right. All right, I do believe I, gosh, just want to go to say something. I just don't know. I just don't know if these are stones or if these are glass. They're pretty though. So you're going to get, oh yeah, I keep forgetting I'm pixelated. I just need to send it right over here to Rachel. All right, I'm the big square. You already have to say two. <laughs> I know. That's why I said this is bad. The dark ones are cool to the touch. These are plastic. The lighter ones are plastic. The darker ones, though, are cool to the touch. But I'm just not sure if they're polished stones or if they're glass. I'm leaning towards glass. I'm leaning towards glass on those. Ah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who was the first one to get that one? Let's see. It was uh, Julia Hardy got it. It was Annie Get Your Gun. Annie Get Your Gun. Joanne got it. Lolo got it. I'm I'm impressed that you guys knew that was Annie Get Your Gun. Very cool. Very cool. That was. It was not the first musical I did it, but it was my first lead role. I got to play Annie Oakley. Most epic part ever. Loved it. Um. It was back before the days of, you know, smartphones. So it is not on video anywhere that I know of. I'm sure there was somebody in that audience with a with a camcorder, though, recording. I really wish that I could find some of that. That would be cool. But, yep. All right. What did I say? What did, did I not call it a bracelet and necklace? You called it earrings and necklace. Did I say earrings? Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> it's a bracelet and a necklace. <laughs> what color are they? They are purple. They are purple. Purple, purple, purple. Yeah, and I remember the guy who who played my my male counterpart in in that. Um, his name was Frank, and I had the biggest crush on him, and he didn't like me, but. We had we were supposed to do a kissing scene, and he really quickly asked the director if he could just put up his hat and we could pretend. And I was like, "Dang it!" <laughs> All right. We can't get the light to work. Can't get the light to work. Why does that? I mean, I, that's just how it's going. I, I mean, I'm telling you. I am just testing to make sure you're paying attention. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, we've got twelve dollars with Yaya. Any maker marks? There's no maker marks, no makers marks, and the bracelet is stretchy, and it's got a really, it's got a really nice quality um, 
cord on it too. It's not that little cheap thin. It's a, quite a thick cord. So, and it's got, did you show them that little toggle? It's got the toggle closure kind of thing going here. If I can get my fingers out of the way. It's a toggle. All right. We're at $13 with Hustle and Budget Mom. I have no idea how that works. Free, we can't check right now because we're sharing one computer. So we got to wait until we're done with. See, the thing was that. We weren't going to do close up cam on every single item and we were going to be able to check things. So we'll check. All right. We're at $13 going once. Going twice. Now I can't get it back in. Because it takes two hands. No, it doesn't. And we're going to call it sold. Apparently it doesn't take two hands. And then we will check and see if we've got that email. Can you check and see if you've got... Uh, Dowell's email now. We did. There it is. Yep, we got it. Thank you so I much. You oh, I didn't hear you say that. Excuse me. And you said okay. Did I, I showed you? And you oh, I was looking okay. at something else. I was looking at something else. Okay, Betsy Johnson. Did I hear Betsy Johnson butterfly? Anyone? I like this one because it's the butterfly kind of the profile of the butterfly. So I'm going to get right over here so you can see it. See, this would have been one of those items we would not have had to do close-up cam with, but this time make sure you show them, make sure you show them this part too. Let me put you on. All right. We've got the Betsy Johnson. You're kind of at a weird angle and you keep losing the, the white background. Let's make sure we stay on the white background. Okay. Plus that might help you. Now that shadow is brutal. How do we ch how do we fix that shadow? Can we what if I let in light? what if I let in more of this light? I mean, it makes me brighter, but it doesn't matter because I'm ending up not sh showing anything. You can try. You can try. Let's see if we can fix the shadow. It might be the ring light over there too. That fixed the shadow, but it might make it a little dark now. Now maybe you're no. No, no, maybe that might work. Try that. All right, I see 20, I see 21 with Robin Bowser. Sorry, Addie, we're doing the best we can. Matt, $22, $23, $25. I got Deborah Heimbecker first at the 25 and we're at free shipping. You got to get a little closer to it is the thing. Be sure you're looking up, you know, look and see where you're centering. You want to get right on here. Closer. Zoom in closer. There you go. That's better. But then you can't see no, it's TV still, TV. You're, you're, you're casting shadows. You're casting shadows. There you go. Just do. It's fine. It's fine that way. There's no shadow that way. All right. I see power bid fifty dollars there with Addie Ross. Fifty dollars, Judith. I'm sorry, Addie got the fifty in right before you. Do we have Addie Ross emails? Fifty one. You know what? We absolutely need to check that, which we will. Uh, fifty one with Deborah Heimbecker. Going once. Going twice and so yeah, so if you can check that, please, there is your mouse. Whoops, let me just check this real quick, see what's next while you do that. Okay. All right, you check. Ooh, rhinestones, anyone. I have rhinestones as promised. These are antique rhinestones necklaces and a bracelet that we're going to show you in just a moment as soon as rachel checks something on the screen she's no. on no, we addy ross we do not have your information addy ross we need you to send over your youtube name your real name and your zip code Please, please, please send that over right now. Please do not bid on anything until you have sent that over. All right. Why is that? Wait a minute. 
That's weird. Okay, you're gonna have to show them this. I don't know why that's on there. Somebody added like a piece onto this one. But it's got the antique, it's got the antique closure, but then it's got like an added piece. So yes, I love her. We have yours. We have yours. All right, and then this one is fantastic. This is the one, I mean, all of these have the rhinestones all the way, all the way up the chain. And we will show you the backs also. This one has like the drop thing on it. And then the bracelet, you know, I didn't check any of these for any like silver or anything. Probably should have done that. But the bracelet, it's a very dainty little bracelet. All right, there you can see all three pieces. One money, one money. These are vintage. But did you show them like the, um, on this one? They did. Yeah, it's like somebody added this little piece up here and I don't know why. Maybe they needed to extend it, make it longer. A secure oh it's a security latch oh okay okay i'm gonna switch over here and okay addy ross okay we got you now we got you now all right thank you thank you thank you perfect you are good to go all right uh twenty dollars just $20 is where we're at on three pieces of antique rhinestone jewelry. I'm at 25 with Joanne. Now we're at free shipping too. Um, 25 with Joanne. What do you guys need to see? 26 with Addy. Oh, I got 30 with Melissa. That is literally just $10 a piece. All right, 32 with Addy. We're going to start counting them down. 35 with Melissa. Scoop is being loud. I hear Scoop. Your boys are being loud too, in all fairness. But Scoop is we're, <laughs> we're going once. We're going twice. Get those snipe bids in because I'm going to call it. Sold. Dun, dun. Um, so to be able to tell something is vintage, antique, it is the way the settings are done, the clasp used. I mean, the clasp has rhinestones in it even. Like they just really don't do that workmanship anymore, but a lot of it is just like the materials used and the way they're put together. I've handled enough of the rhinestone jewelry that I can tell it's, it's just like with glass. It's like you, you get a feel for it. You just really get a feel for it. All right. Am I not taking it? No, I got room on the shelves now that the first part was just to clear some room on the shelves. Melissa got those for $35, $35 to Melissa. All right. How about a trinket box? Now I put a little surprise in the trinket box. This trinket box is made by Imperial Porcelain. Um, it's got little purple flowers on it. I, I know you're not going to be able to see it till I give it to the close up cam. Bear with me. Um, I have put a little goodie inside. Wait, it helps if I actually open the side that opens, doesn't it? That would be that would be good. I put a little I put a little glass mouse. I think he's a mouse is inside a mouse there. Or is it a deer? I don't know. Is he a mouse or a deer? I don't, you can show them right now. He's a mouse. I, he's gla he, is he glass? Let me just yes, he's glass. <laughs> he's glass. Don't break him. I know if I don't break him. I put this little guy in there. There you go. Why so you can have a little guy, but you got to show him the trinket box too. Because they're really buying the trinket box. He's just a bonus. It's got a little scripture on the top that is um, Not great is thy faithfulness, lamentations, 323. I know you got to try to hold as still as possible so it has a chance to focus. I am. 
I know. Okay. It's porcelain with a little glass, little critter inside. You did, Melissa, for sure. You did. That is a great idea, Kimberly. I highly recommend that. You guys go to a museum where the stuff is really identified, like down to the exact time period and, and where it came from and all of that. Museums are fantastic for that. I have spent a lot of times in museums. I love it. I love it. If you want to learn art, there's no better place than a museum to go see what a true masterpiece looks like in person because then you ingrain that in your brain and you will know that same quality when you see it out in the wild and you will you may not know who the artist is what but you will know you have a quality piece i highly recommend that we are at twenty dollars with diane weaver i'm at 20 with diane 21 with robin 25 with Joanne, which means we're at free shipping. 25 with Joanne. Going once. Going twice. I've got the 25 with Joanne Klein. I've got the 25 with Joanne Klein. We are going to call this one. So, there are jewelry museum online that have articles that show you the dates equal different. Oh, Melissa, do send me that that link or your links or your special. I would love to see that. Can you take me off? Oh, I can. I'm sorry, Rachel. <laughs> I see Robin Bowser. Hold on. I see Robin Bowser is the winner there. Okay, you want to check some emails for people. Go ahead and do that because whew, I don't have to show any close-up cam on this next lot. This is the last lot in order to be included into the giveaways. We have Kristen K. Christine K., you are great. We got your email. Thank you so much. All right, what do you guys think is going in this little baby right here? What will I be filling in here? Oh, wait, you don't know because it's a mystery. It's a mystery. We call it mystery box, but obviously it's going to come in a priority flat rate padded envelope. I can actually fit a box in here, by the way. Um, and I custom curate the mystery package to your specifications. So if you are the winner of the mystery lot, I will be... Uh, sending you a little questionnaire to fill out and in that questionnaire you get to tell me like your favorite colors do you prefer you know necklaces over earrings over whatever and um, you can kind of tell me what era of jewelry you like all those things so that what you get in your mystery package is all stuff you're gonna love that's my goal that's what I live for is to get those happy emails saying oh my gosh I loved everything you sent me I live for those I live for those. Yes, it's the mystery padded envelope. <laughs> I don't want to call it a mystery box because that would be deceiving, but I can put a lot more stuff in this than I can into a box. I'm just saying. Just saying. We're at $20 with Joanne Klein. And you will get, value-wise, you will get a lot more value than whatever you bid. I'm just saying that, too. I've got Diane Weaver at $50. Diane Weaver is at $50. We're already at 50. It means it's free shipping too. We're going once. We're going twice. And sold. Let's see. Back up. Let's see what happens there. Ooh, dash wish. Oh, I gotta fix something real quick. Oh, I can't. Can you put and earrings on that one, please? Thank you. Perfect. 
forgot to do that last night. Okay. There's my soul. $50 to Diane Weaver. All right, Diane, wait for that questionnaire to come and we'll send that out tonight. Yes, I was only going to sell the uh, necklace by itself. You know what? I'm going to take it off of this so that you can show it on the close up. So this, I can't remember if it's marked or not. It is. It is marked. Ah. Uh, 20, does that say 2020, 2028? Hold on. Stand by. Stand by. Yes, this is one of those 2028 pieces. Basically, it's a company that fashions their jewelry off of a really, really high end antique jewelry. So, this is the Cameo necklace. It's 2028. But wait, there's more. You're going to get some actual. It would be helpful if I put you on the camera. There you go. Um, you're going to get some actual vintage screwback cameo earrings that match it. Look at that. Couldn't have planned that. Well, these are gold tone. That's a darker tone. Okay, so they don't match exactly. But still. And then these, I didn't check these for to be 14 karat gold or not. You're going to get another pair of vintage earrings with cameos. So you're going to get two sets of cameo earrings and the 2028 necklace, which is gorgeous. Is it 1928? Why am I saying 2028? Oh, it says 2028. So are there two different? Okay, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. We sold 2028 at Macy's. Yeah, it's 2028. No, it's it's 2028. Oh, 2028 is the higher end. Well, how sweet is that? I see your power bid of $100. You know what that makes me do? That makes me start counting down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. I was I was spitting out the word and I saw another bid come in. So 1928 is a part of 2028. That makes sense. Yes. Awesome. They must be related. There's our soul. And the winner is Melissa for $105. Melissa got it for $105. Melissa loves her cameos. Yeah, and the earrings are real cameos. Actually, these feel like real cameos. I think you're going to be very happy with this, Melissa. It does feel like real cameos. I like them. I like them. What are cameos? Those. I've got a seven piece rhinestone necklace and earrings. Hmm. Why did I? Oh, you know what? Don't get excited yet. I called it seven piece because I don't know if these are earrings or pins. So it's seven pieces if they're pins. It's five pieces if they're earrings because I call a set of earrings a piece. So let me put the first one over here. And put you on the camera. That is not an earring or a earring. Not yet. One at a time. So you're going to get that piece. I'm looking for any marks. You're going to get this little. This. That, that is also not an earring. You know what? You need to just hush, little girl. I'm getting the jewelry out. I'm getting the necklaces out there first. You're getting, you're getting a little sassy on me. Get a little sassy today. I have to drive you to horseback riding this afternoon. So, you know, watch the sassiness, girl. Watch the sassiness. I'm just saying. Why do we have Xena hair everywhere? Goodness. Xena hair is that everywhere. dog. Okay, here's the items in question. I don't know. They could be a pin. Those backs, though, you're going to have to show them the backs on those. Little rhinestones with backs. And then these have questionable backs. 
I just don't know. I can't get in there enough. There we go. And then these. So are they earrings? They could. I mean, the posts are pretty thick. That's why I'm not. I'm thinking they're not earrings. I'm thinking they're pins. She's been around Jordan, right? Right. Jordan is the ultimate with sass. She sasses her mother a lot. A lot. I am related to Jordan. Uh, you think? <laughs> what? You call me Jordan all the time. I do. All right. I see Addie at $10. So it's seven pieces. Or it's five pieces. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> tie tacks. They're tied. So it is. Wait. So each one is an individual, so it is seven pieces, right? I was right on the seven piece thing. Okay. No, I don't feel so bad, but we're only at $10. $10 for seven pieces of jewelry with the rhinestones. I've got Addy at 10. Any other interest? Jordan is related to your daughter. Sass is hereditary, just saying. <laughs> Yes, they come by it honestly. They do, for sure. I can sass back with the best of them. Sweet Mountain Violet is at $11. $12 with Debbie Labor. That's for all of it, guys. That's for all of it. $12 with Debbie. Going once. Going twice. Get those bids in. Because I am going to call this one sold. Oh. The dark necklace is a dark necklace with little black rhinestones in it. They can't see what you're doing. They can't see what I'm doing. They saw it before, though. And looks like Debbie got this lot for $12. Well, there was the steal of the day. There was the seal of the day. Ooh, come back, little tie tack. Okay. What is next? We only have an hour and ten minutes left. Stop counting the time. What? We're gonna move fast. I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, six pins in this lot, all spring themed. I'm gonna show you the best one first. This is the Capitamante. This is the Capita Monte pin. Yes, I'm going to just put it right over here to the close up. Be very gentle with that one. That one is. You have a question. Uh, do you have any more higher end? I have all kinds of stuff here. There you are. Okay. Show them. Capita Monte. I don't. Sorry, I stole that away from you. I'm just looking. I'm in, I cannot believe there's no damage on this thing. I just can't even believe. There's the sticker on the back. Check that out. Wait, hold still so it focuses. Oh, focus camera. I want them to see for sure that that says Capa de Monte. All right, it's not going to focus. I am so mad at my internet today. You're going to get these two, which I thought at first they were earrings because they match, but no, they are pins. There's two. There's two. Then there's a sweet little, I have not looked for marks on any of this stuff. Sweet little flower pins. Is that stuff and super delicate or something? Is that why? Yes, it's super, because it's porcelain. And then there is this really cool little 1960s enameled flower pin, but it is missing one of the centers. I want you to take note of that. You could throw a nice little uh, blingy rhinestone. It's the one in the middle, so it would be great to just throw a little rhinestone in there. It would give it a little bling. But all of them together, I've got $50 with Kimberly Porter. You must have looked up the Capita Monte. I've got $50 power bid. We're going once. Yeah, I'm glad some of you got to see it last night before I had all of these issues. We're going twice. And calling it sold. That will be ever, ever, 
ever so carefully shipped. Oh, I saw Addie come in there at 51. Kimberly got back in at 55 and sold. Oh, that just reminds me of, um, of one of our rules and I, I did not say it. So and it's okay. It worked out okay. But once we get over $50, we do ask that you do $5 bid increments. $5. No, she's bought from me before. She's good. We're good. And I need to see what's next. We need to do. Okay, this is another piece. I hope you got to see it last night in the preview. <sighs> Pretty sure this is a simulated. I like that word so much better than fake or uh, faux, but a simulated opal. This is the simulated opal necklace. It does appear to have age on it to me. Um, I'm just going to put it straight over to the close-up cam. It looks like an older piece to me. Oh, that was, that was kind of good. Hold still, hold still. All right. So that, I'm just so irritated with the lighting. I wonder if I should move the ring camera over to that side of you. Well, that would cast shadow on this. Let's try it while while they're bidding on this. Just let me see if I can make this work a little better or something. Oh, my office. My office is a mess. All right. Is that doing anything? Is that helping? It's burning my eyes. What if I put this up here? It's making shadow. I thought I'm not done yet. It's not going to work. I'm not done yet. Is this going to help? A little. There's still kind of shadow. I, I, I would just have to stand here and hold it, I think. That's it. That's it. I'm done. I, I just have to stand here and hold the ring light. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hang on. Stand by. Stand by. Ooh, what just happened? What's, what's happening? I'm breaking my ring light. That's what's happening. What is going on? Oh, my gosh. It's falling out of here. How do I keep it in there? Is that better? Is that better at all? It's casting shadow. Oh, not if I do it from this side. It's a little better. Is that better? A little. Or if I even come this way a little more? Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. How's that? A little better? Yeah. Maybe? Oh no. <laughs> better. Okay. Better. Yeah, I can see the sparkle on it now. Okay, good. What's our bid at? We've got Jeannie at $40. I see that. Yes, my mother is making uh, crochet chocolate covered strawberries. She's making crochet cookies as well as the candies that she already makes to put in the special little tins that we go out and find. Yep. They make great gifts that last forever and no calories. That's the beautiful part. Uh, let's see. I think I got Jeannie at 40. Let's count it down. Going once. What does the back look like? You have not shown the back? Oh my goodness. There's the back. Going twice. It's got that real, it's again, it's a feel thing, you know, when it, you just can feel the oldness of it. 
and it's got a little bit of a curve to it. And I think I said going twice. You did now. I did now. Let's call it. Let's call it. Let's call it. Say the word. Sold. <laughs> Yeah, the metal work, yeah, that's that's why I was like, hi, is it a real opal? I don't know. I wish I knew more about jewelry. I really wish I did. All right, next. Up a bit. Oh, Jeannie got back in at 45. You got it, Jeannie. Thank you so much. Next is another like new old stock item. I don't know about the Charter Club. What's the Charter Club? I just don't know. The box that it's in is the original box, but it's a little on the, okay, it's a little on the beat up side. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, but it's got this brand new cubic zirconia set inside. It is a, a necklace and earrings. They are pierced earrings. Yep. I didn't even look to see if this could be silver. Didn't even, it's got a very, very dainty chain. Hold on. Stand by. No, I don't see any markings. So we're not going to call it that. Doesn't mean it's not, but I'm not going to call it that. So if it is, you get a bonus. But let me hand it over to Rachel so you can actually see what I'm talking about because I keep forgetting you can't see it until I do this. All right. So it's like little faux pearls with cubic zirconia. So it was a Mace, probably another Macy's or JCPenney kind of thing. Okay. Okay. There you go. You can see it's, it's pixelated. Why is it pixelated? Why? Why? Of course, it's all white on white too, which isn't helping the camera at all. Yeah. It's our Wi-Fi. Our Wi-Fi really, really, really sucks today. Don't even know what to say. Don't even know what to say. Yeah, I've heard of the Charter Club clothing. I've just, I've never seen jewelry. Oh, are you trying to put it on a black? Yeah. Hold it. Let me see if I can. Those are earrings. Are yeah, you're not going to be able to because it's fastened on here. That's the thing. It's fastened on. We've got $20 with Addy. Show them the box just so you can see that the box is a little chewed up. It's a little chewed up. Almost looks, almost looks like a dog got it, but it wasn't one of mine. Oh, this came from the shop. Didn't this come from the shop where the, the dog rescue shop? It might have, might have. But they only have that one old dog there. Well, they get dogs coming and going all the time. I don't know. Just saying. All right. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Speaking of, we need to go yeah, I can't there. really I can't really get it under there. A problem. All right. Three piece beaded purple necklaces. Oh, let's try this. That would be these ones. Purple. All right. These are some fancy schmancy costume jewelry pieces. This one has a purple cameo. I'm trying to see what she is. She is a she's a fairy cameo. She's a fairy. It's a really like it's a good size. Look, I can slip this one over my head and it goes down to down there. Down there. <laughs> Show you that. Where do you think that was that long? First one. Lots of people. Why? And then the second piece, while she's showing you that, is this is signed. Hold on. Oh, what is this signed? Oh, it's got an old. A uh, mama? Is this a tag or is this? A no, it's it's just one of the beaded pieces. Hold on, I got Jones. Jones Collectibles. Jones Collectibles. I don't know what is Jones Collectibles because it's a it's a nice beaded necklace. 
I'm going to scooch that over a little bit so you can get Jones collectibles over here. And those are, those are glass. They are cool to the touch. And I think these are little stones, aren't they? These are interesting. They're almost got like a little metallic look to them. I'm not sure. And then the last one is this groovy pale purple. This is plastic beads. It's just groovy. Put that in there too. We have $15 with Melissa. I have not done the rings yet. I have not done the rings yet. Is it a Joan Rivers? Did she do Joan's collectibles? Oh, who knew? Okay. Makes sense. $20 with Debbie Labor. Could be hematite. Oh, okay. All right. I'm at $20. 25 We're now at free shipping. $25 going once. I've got $30 with Addie Ross. Addie is at $30. We're going twice. And we're going to call it sold. Up here. Go. And the winner is. There's a soul the owl lover for $35. I think Lisa G, you might not be up with us in the live part because we are not. I think you're back on the lot that where we were talking about 1928. So if someone could let her know in the chat, to uh, you can let one of the other moderators do it. Or she'd be typing as me. Okay, $35 on that last one. And, okay, this is a really cool piece. These collars are super hot right now. Um, oh, gosh. I know her name. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Thank you. Oh, gosh. I would, that, well, that would be bad if I could not remember her name. Um, so they call them an the RBG collar. She made them very super popular right now. This is an old one. I would lean on the side of this being antique, um, but I'm not sure if it's 100 years old. I just know it is super, super old. You can see the age. I guess I better let you show it. You can see the age in the fabric that they're mounted on. You can see the age in the little rhinestone. I guess I have to put you on the camera. <laughs> You're showing your toes. Can you just show it? There we go. And they use like different, different sizes of the little pearls. Oop. Something just kind of flaked off. Something flaked off right now. So it looks like some of the shiny on some of these pearls is what is not, is supposed to still have shiny on it. I don't know. Show the little, the little rhinestone up here. That's a clasp. And then let me turn it around so you can see the back, like, and it is, it's oh, literally it's got shedding. some of this little stuff shedding off it as we speak, guys. So it's old. That's what I'm going to say. But you can see it's an old, old, old beaded collar. Old, old, old. Cleopatra. I see 45 with Melissa. I see 50 with Kimberly Porter. I see 50 with Kimberly. 55 with Addie Ross. 55 with Addie Ross. It is beautiful. There is a lot of work in this collar. 55 is where we're at on the collar. Going once. Oh, real pearls shed? Oh, so you think they're real pearls? Oh. Never thought of that. Would make sense. I could see that. Going twice. I've got Kimberly Porter at 60, Addie Ross at 70, 
and I'm going to call it sold. We will treat it very gently. And the winner is um, just there it is, Kimberly Porter for $75. Okay, we have some pins coming up next. Pins, 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 pins. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Wait. Oh. Where did I put them? Um. Oh, there you are. Holy smoker scared me. <laughs> like, where did I put them? Okay, we have five really nice pins. And I think one of these is super antique. You guys are going to be able to tell me, and I'm judging that it's got a clasp on it. I don't think I've ever seen. So let me just get this right over. Are you ready? I'm going to get this one right over to you. It's got a coat of arms on it. I'm going to show you this. You're, there's five pins in this lot. So there is a coat of arms, as you can see here. But look, look at the clasp on this. Can you guys see that? And wait, sorry, I just pulled it away because I'm like, is it broken? No, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this class because I've never seen one like this. Why is no outside? But there's like a piece. No, it's not broken because there's, can you pay attention, please? <laughs> and not worry about why Noah's outside. <laughs> We're running an auction here, girl. All right. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't really care right now. It's probably going out to the garage. All right. So I don't know if you guys can tell me something. A trombone class. Okay. Thank you. So there's that piece. Oh, wait. No, there's more. This has a really cool stone in it. Look at this purple stone in this. If we can get the light to, uh, I think that might have gotten turned down a little bit. So that is a real nice purple stone. Here's the back of that one. Let's see. Okay. Then we have this little dainty little ring with a faux pearl. I believe it's a faux pearl. And then we have, pay attention, Making sure Zena wasn't destroying the gate. We have this old rhinestone bar pin here. Let me show you the back of that one. It does have like that regular clasp on it. That and then last but not least, again, this one is one of the clasps um, that doesn't have like the little extra loop or anything. It just kind of hooks under there, and I've known those to be more of the antique pieces so you have that one too oh circa 1890 wow 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 okay so we've got it just this one is an 1890s pin right there all right and i know that this one is very very old and this one is very very they're all really really super cool this is probably the newest one and it's pretty cool too is that I'm trying to figure out if that's glass or plastic uh, it's kind of can't tell i'm gonna lean toward plastic but it could fool me okay we are at 45 dollars oh c class see i learn stuff on these jewelry sales i love it 45 dollars with addy ross $45. This is for all five pins. All five pins. That's probably you're just paying for that one with that $45 bid, right? Uh, $50 with Melissa. $50 with Melissa for that type of pin closure, right? I don't I don't know what you mean, Jeannie. I missed something probably. Cause I do, because I miss things. All right. $55 is with Addie Ross. We are at free shipping as well. 
$60 is with Melissa. I'm at 60 with Melissa. $60 going once. I need a little hammer for auctioning. $60 going twice. And we're going to call it sold. Boop. I love it. See, I'm going to have to research when we're done here and go, what's the trombone closure? Oh my God, to C. Oh, C clasps are circa 1850. The tombstone clasp is circa late 1800s. So the tombstone clasp is that on the first one with the with the coat of arms. Fascinating, fascinating. And it looks like they are going to Canada, heading to Canada to Melissa. Three piece stone beaded necklaces. Three piece stone beaded necklaces. Ah, here they are. <laughs> Ouch! That was my knee. You know you have like a funny bone in your kneecap too? And it's not so funny. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we have three beaded necklaces as follows. All right. Uh, hello? Hello? Hello, is anybody home? Hello? Come on, girl, don't give up on me now. We're in the home stretch. So we have this one. These are little stone beads. This one has, okay, is it a box clasp when it goes into the little, I don't, I'm not even going to try. So this one has glass beads, but show them this. This is the clasp I was talking about. Oh, focus. Oh, it's not even focusing on that now. Oh my gosh. And then this one has the little screw, the barrel clasp, I think you guys call it. And these could possibly be sterling silver spacer beads on here. Uh, I do know they don't mark those a lot of the time, but they sure look like sterling. Can you lift that up just a little bit so you're not right on top of my hand so they can actually see it? And then it's got, it wants to curl. Uh, it's got little stone beads on that one as well. It's not focusing real good. Okay. All right. I have 10 with Addie Ross. I'm at $10 on the three necklaces. Three. Show them the whole lot. Come on, work with me. Work with me. I'm counting on you because I can't show it to him, Rage. You can't give up on me now. Please, please. Nope. Lisa G is way behind. Liquid silver, maybe. Yeah, it really, it, it looks like silver to me. But bid as if it isn't because I'm not guaranteeing it to be silver. It'll just be a bonus if it is silver. 15 with Carolyn Hedrick. I'm at 15 with Carolyn. $15 on the three pieces. I'm going to go once, go once, going once, going twice. And somebody's going to get a deal because I'm going to call it sold. All right. How's our battery doing? It's going Good. down faster than it's going up. Yeah, but it's we're still okay though, right? We're at 60. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, what is my next item? Oh, how about some flowers? Some flower pins. Flower power. So there are five pins in this lot as follows. You ready? Oh, this one, you're going to have to be sure and show them. This one got a little, little bendy thing going here. Or is it supposed to be that way? It's supposed to be bendy. Oh, it is supposed to be that way. Never mind. Don't mind me. Okay. So that one looks like a 60s pin to me, the way it is constructed. 
Then we have a big old sunflower, which I absolutely love. Look at that one. Then I have this little flower here. I'm just looking for marks last minute. Got this one's got a little discoloration going on it, but it gives it character. This is an old, oh, this is an oldie. So a C, a, is a C clasp where there's, like it just hooks on there. There's, you don't have to turn anything. It just kind of goes in there. Because, ouch, as I poke myself with it. Because we got another one. We got another one on this little, this little baby. It's got a little rhinestone in it. And then I'm throwing in this little, oh, what? He's not a pin. Okay, well, I said five piece. This is a surprise. I had no idea. I thought it was a leaf pin. This is how tired I was last night. Um, he's actually not a pin. He's a little frog on a leaf <laughs> with little rhinestone eyes. So you're getting four pins and a frog on a leaf with rhinestone eyes. A C okay, so it is a C-clasp on this one. Show them the C-clasp on that one. Actually show them the backs on all of them. Show them, show them. I can't reach around you. And we are at $6. Is that because you guys can't see them? This is what I was afraid of. If we, if this one starts going blurry on me, I guess we're going to have to end it early. It is. Yeah, this is killing me. Trust me, guys. It's killing me, too. It's really killing me. <sighs> Don't you do lines on Mondays? I do. Could you replace that with a part two? To the mm, not really. <laughs> How come? Well, because the live on Monday counts as an actual video that people come in watch the content people don't really come and watch the replay of an auction so i lose my views with youtube which makes everything go down it's a whole algorithm thing it's really crazy okay let's turn back over i like the froggy too i didn't even know he was a froggy at first okay melissa is at 20. Going once, going twice, and sold. Put them back in here. All right, what is next? What is next? Where are we at? Okay, I've got some really, really groovy pendants to throw in here. Groovy? Did I say groovy? Are we doing more? I thought we were going to stop because it's boring. No, we're going to try to keep going. I got to try to keep going, baby. This, this is this is how I make my living. <laughs> this is what pays for your horseback riding lessons and puts a lot of money into the nonprofit, which is the most important. Okay, $35 to Melissa. Okay, two groovy pendants as follows. One is fused glass. Ready? I need you to be on the ball. Seconds count. So we've got a fused glass pendant, and we have a little, little tiny baby Millie Fiore glass pendant. I'm going to hold it a little bit like this so you can see how the light shines through it. Maybe. Okay, so two pendants in this lot, both glass. Just one is fused and one is a little Millie Fiore. Uh-oh, you guys are going to fight over the Southwest stuff, huh? Southwest stuff coming up. I got $6 with Tri-State Picker Mom. I have $15 SL Gonzalez. And I needed to do something while you guys are bidding over there. Oh, where am I going to put it? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Let's see. Stand by. I'm going to move this. Oh, I can't. Wait, I can because I can copy this way. Just 
put this here for a moment. Uh, this is going to be, don't mind me guys, I'm just, uh, oh, but I can't type. This is what I need you to type. Where'd my pen go? Oh my goodness, I'm losing everything. I stole it. That's why you stole my pen. Can you read that? Oh my goodness, she can't read my writing. I can't change that yet. Stand by everyone. We're just doing a little stealth work here on the side. Okay, I think we have that worked out now. This is what happens when you share a mouse and a keyboard. It's fine. We'll fix it later. <laughs> Hi, Angela. I, pens do have legs, don't they? All right. We're going once. We're going twice. We're calling this one. So. All right. Sorry about that. I had to do a little something something. Because. All right. I guess Bree and Melissa are going to fight over this next lot. Are you doing these on the thing? You... What? That's too big to fit in the small kale. I know. Oh, that could be a problem. No, we'll be able to show it. All right. This is a three-piece lot. I did show it in the preview last night, so I hope you guys got to see it there. It's a bolo tie with a little, looks like, Wheat with turquoise. Ready? Oh, it wants to curl. It's been curled for many years, I think. Okay. And then this is the pendant with the teepee on it. It's copper and possibly silver uh, or pewter. Um, okay, it's, gonna stay curled. it's marked on the back O R either J or I, 1979. Okay, up here you don't have as much shadow. Keep that in mind. Yeah, but now you put everything off camera. You can adjust the camera, my love. <laughs> put it off camera, you need to follow it. And this little donkey, now his little pendant ring is broken off. Oh, you can't see it. Why am I even trying? The shadow is coming from the phone. All right. Let's see if we can. Is that a donkey? It is a donkey, but he's he used to be a pendant. So he needs to be turned into either like a pin or fixed a little bit. But he does have turquoise on him and he's southwest, so I included him. Here is the bolo tie. What is a bolo tie? It's like a leather with, and it has this little sliding adjustable thing. And then here is the copper. That was really informational. Sorry. You can Google it later. Here is the copper piece. And there's, I don't know if you can see the mark on the back. Probably not because my internet is just crappy as can be today. I hate Cox Cable so much. Kara, you broke your hand. Oh, that doesn't sound fun at all. Can we see the turquoise on the bolo? I can try. I can try. Let's see if it'll focus. That's about as good as it's going to let me focus. Unfortunately. Can you see it? Uh, can you back um, it up a little bit? Backing it up is not going to help show it helps it focus the turquoise. Time. You can kind of see it. Not really. Yeah. Oh, it's like yeah. a robin's egg blue turquoise. Yeah. It's, um, can you, I'm looking at it a little closer. I'm going to look at it under the loop.
Yeah, I used to know all of my turquoise mines really, really well. Um, I do believe, you know, it is real turquoise. I don't believe it's simulated. This looks like it's on pewter. It's an older piece. Thank you. And that's all I can tell you. But again, that's just what I'm seeing. You may see something different. So, all right. We're $30 with Melissa. It's a battle to the finish. Oh, Kara. Oh, yuck. That sounds awful. Going once. Going twice. And so okay. I did a little switch up. I did a little switch up of lots. That was what I was over here doing. Because I really, really wanted to offer these today because they are just the coolest things. Now, I had a picture. Hold on. What did I do with that picture? Because I'd really like to share it on the screen. I can. Yes, here it is. See if I can do this. Let's see if I can make this happen. So there's a famous place in San Francisco, California called the Geary Cellar. And I'm going to figure out how to get back to my stream yard. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Let's, I have to share another screen. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, I guess it's on mine. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess this is how you do it if you only have one computer. Which one is mine? This one is mine. I get it. So those of you who only, I mean one computer, one monitor, stand by. I'm going to show you this. It's going to look weird for a second as I go find the thing. Oh, where is it? How do I get to it now? It's that little. It's, it's little, this it's one. There it is. Oh, my goodness. So this is a napkin from that theater. So I uh, found a company who has turned the images on this napkin into coasters. All right. Now, how do I get myself back? There we go. And stop. <laughs> So what I am offering is a set of six coasters, and I really hope you can see these. Didn't you call them pig coasters? Pig. They're elf. <laughs> I had to write down pig coasters. They're not. Melissa, could you fix the spreadsheet? Because they're pink elephant coasters. So I know it's not going to focus. That's why I wanted to show you the picture. But there's all of the little elephants. There's all of the little elephant things that were on that oh, napkin. It's blurry. I know it's blurry. But that's why I showed the picture so they know what's on there. But it's all six different. They are brand new in the package. Brand spanking new in the package. From the, what did I call it? The Geary Theater in San Francisco. From that napkin that made the elephants famous. Yes. Oh, you have a pink elephant in San Diego? But yeah, they are super cute. Yes, they're pink elephants. I don't even know why, what what my brain is thinking today. <laughs> don't even know. Your brain is as slow as the Wi-Fi today. Yes, I guess so. I've got Barbara at five. You get six coasters, all of them with a different little elephant scene. I have Brie at $20. I have Brie at $20. Anyone else? All right, we're going once. I got 22 with Addie. I'm going twice. Breeze back in 25. They're free shipping. And we're going to call them sold. Let's see what happens. Mm 
I'm just waiting for the soul to come in. There it is. All right. So there was two of you battling for these. So guess what I'm going to do? You can both have them for $28 because I have two sets. So $28. Bada bing, bada boom. They are cool. I love them so much. I love them so much. All right. Now I gotta go see what's next. Or am I? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Melissa. Oh, that works perfect. That works perfect. And 28. Awesome sauce. Okay. I love when a plan comes together. All right, how about some dichroic glass pendants? I have three of them. I'm just gonna let Rachel, these are the ones too, like people. Say, oh, that's that's uh, Murano. It's I don't I don't think so. So it's glass though. It is dichroic glass, spelled D I C H R the wrong O I C. What do you mean I have the wrong? Oh, my bad. There we go. <laughs> it's because I was sharing a screen. Oh, nice, nice, Bree. All right, so here we go. We've got three pieces of dichroic glass, the heart, the flower, and then the little swoop de doop swoop de doop as opposed to scoop de doop Uh-oh, watch out. Troublemaker Michael's here. Just saying. All right. Are we have we got lag going? There we go. I got Roman at 15. Let's just power bid it right off the start. I'm going to say going once. Going twice. Let's call it sold. Just like that. We can get through lots of lots if we go that fast. Lots of lots. Lots of lots. Oh, and then the bids come in. Let's see who ends up. Oh my goodness. I, you know what? I am going to skip the next thing because it's a tiny thing and I'm not going to be able to show it to you. So we will do that one when we have better internet. So um, for my mods, just know that this one here is getting patched over. Okay. There we go. Let's go right to this. There's soul. Looks like those are going to Roman Leverins for $25. How about some Austrian crystal? I've got three necklaces and a bracelet. Now, most of it is clear. One of them is green. I'll show you the, the clear first. I didn't even look if these were. Oh, is that marked? Hold on. Stand by. Mm, no, it's not a mark. I thought maybe it was a mark. But they do have rhinestones even on a little clasp. These are, these are bougie. They are bougie. Make sure you show them all the little details up there. Okay. Oh, this is going to be tough. There's the black. There's the black thing down there. Right there. Right there. Good thing I didn't put you on screen yet. You would have just like made everybody go dark. I know I wasn't on screen. These have old, when I did not, I was on old um, clasps on them. Okay. Oh, that shows up good. All right. So you've got this one with, these are rhinestone. They're like little baguette rhinestones on there. So that one. Watch out. This one. And we've got, oh my goodness. This has one of those settings that I can never close these. I forget. Okay. It's old and it hooks in there. I'm going to put it half on the white, half on, but it's, it's where the little, it goes inside. Are you paying attention? It goes inside of here kind of thing, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> and then there is, there's a bracelet that just wraps around. So it's very interesting. So the bracelet is like a wraparound. All four pieces of the Austrian crystal. 
And we have 25 with Christine K. They are probably a little bit heavy. Yes, they are a little bit heavy. They are indeed. This, this is the real thing, guys. I paid up for these. So um, from a very reputable source because I love the sparkle. $30 with Sally Campbell. I'm at 30 with Sally. I'm at 32 with Melissa. 32 with Melissa. Tell me what you want to see if you need to see anything a little better on these. What did you guys tell me that this clasp is called? I know there's a name for it. And I just... Keep clasp? No, this is... No, it's like a safety clasp or something where it goes in here, in here, and then hooks back up. I don't know. This is, I don't even wear jewelry, you guys. Like, this is just embarrassing that I don't even know how that fastens. <laughs> but I know you guys do. Okay. <laughs> it's, it, I, it's not your typical box clasp. It's where it's got to go in and, like, hook on. And I'll Google it later. I'm at 55 with Melissa. 55 with Melissa. Sorry, Jeannie. Melissa got in there right before you at the 55. 55 with Melissa. I'm going once. I'm with Melissa at 55. Going twice. Oh, the snipe action is waiting to happen. We're going to call him. Soul. Yep, this is a great reseller lot, you guys. And I love that. I that's that is my whole goal is to service the reseller industry. Oh, and we had some snipe action come in at the end, and it looks like Christine K got them for $70. $70 to Christine K. All right, now we've got some purist earrings in one of the little cases. This is the last case that I have. So if you wanted one of the little cases, this one is green. It's got a little panda bear and bamboo, and, and it's got green earrings in it. So we have Del Mundo earrings. These are all purists. These have um, abalone. Show them the abalone. Show them the abalone. There we go. Abalone. These are, I thought they were cloisonne at first, but they're, they just kind of look like cloisonne. And then these are possibly jade. I think these could be jade. You tell me if these are jade, you guys. They are, they're a stone. They're cool to the touch. Um, they are all carved. I think those just might, might be jade, might be jade. And we're still getting a weird, okay, I'm going to try to fix this shadow one more time because it kind of keeps shifting. I wonder if I do this. I wonder if I raise it up. Oh, wait, no, don't break. Don't break. <laughs> Is that helping? Uh, a little bit. Let me see. Let me see. Because then I can angle this little bad boy kind of down a little more like this. Ooh, that's better, huh? It's bright. Yes, but that's better. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. It is bright. Look at look how bright I am now. There we go. Or a venturine, maybe, maybe. Kind of, it looks like jade to me. It really does look like jade to me. But I'm not, don't bid as if it's jade, unless you're sure it's jade. But jade, it's that really light celery green color. We are at $40 with Diane Weaver. And remember, you do get the cute little, little panda bamboo case with it, too. I am at 40 with Diane Weaver. Going once, going twice, or Peridot. Okay. And we're going to call them 
sold. I didn't even look to see if they had sterling fittings. I really didn't look. You know, a lot of times the sterling used on some of this jewelry um, is not marked. So you got to test it. All right. Put those all back in there. Da, da, da. And what is next? Okay, there's the sold. Looks like Jeannie got them for 40 42 So, Jeannie, when you get those, you can let me know. Oh, is Deborah Heinbecker still here? I haven't seen you bidding for a while, Deborah, but I have a feeling you're going to bid on this if you are still here. Oh, Peridot is often mistaken for Jade. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. Is she still here? Oh, my goodness. We have a Betsy Johnson owl. This guy is amazing. He's amazing. And you can't see me showing him to you. So let's try. Although your camera is only slightly better than this one now. This is Betsy Johnson. New with tag. Try to position yourself so you're not casting the shadow on the piece. And we'll go here. Look at this guy, you guys. He is like the three-dimensional, oops, can I show him this? He is the three-dimensional with a little heart filigree. That is classic Betsy Johnson. There we go. He looks a little, he looks a little mad, I gotta say. <gasps> is Deborah not here anymore? Where did Deborah go? She was buying all the owl stuff. Or where's the owl? Where's my the owl person? See, I should have done it when I had all you owl people here. I'm at 25 with Roman Leverens. 25. I don't, I'm, I think you slipped on the keyboard there, Addie. There you go. 28 with Addie Ross. I've got 28. He's, I know, he's like, he's ready to, he's ready to tackle. He is indeed. Judith Wilburn's at 35. That's it. You guys are going to steal it from the owl people. $35 is where we're at. We're going once. We're going twice. I see 36 with Addie Ross. And I'm going to call it sold. All right. Let's see what happens. A little battle to the finish. Battle to the finish. Oh, there's the owl lover. But Addie Ross got in there for $45. Okay, which ones? Which ones are that? The rings are coming up too. I'm going to make sure I get to the rings because I you kept asking about those. It's just this has been crazy. Okay. Um the six colorful pins. What did I do with those? Uh, I don't see them. You know what? That's fine. No, wait. Where did they go? Oh, I did the wrong. I boo-booed. I did something I wasn't supposed to do, so let me just mark that one out. That's okay. Do? Don't worry about it. We're going to do a frog. Do do? We're going to do a frog. It's froggy time. What did you do? I just... I mixed up lots. Oh, he's marked on the inside. Oh, wait. Oh, he's a Betsy Johnson. Did you know that? Is that why you've been waiting for the frog ring? Because he is marked Betsy Johnson on the inside. Oh my gosh, that looks like his mouth should open, huh? All right. He's got a little stretchy band. I, I got to tell you, I don't know how big he, oh, I can tell you how big he stretches. Because I have a ring sizer here. And he stretches too. I mean, you can stretch him all the way up to a 10 if you really wanted to. He's comfortable. He's a comfortable unstretched at 7. I'm just saying. And my finger, like, my ring finger is a 4.5. And, and now he's big. But he fits on the next finger over. So... You could go just about anywhere. All right. Show them off. Show them off. 
He's a Betsy Johnson frog ring. Betsy Johnson frog ring. Oh, you need to. Okay. Oh yeah. She's showing you the inside, but then you just got to hold still with them. There's too much motion. So the little bit of focusing we can do, you just got to sit tight. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move at all. Don't move. The cool thing is you guys that when you get this stuff, it's going to be better than pictured. Let's just think of it that way. unstretched unstretched it's a seven and you can stretch it up to a 10 but my finger's not a seven and i could still wear it so it's kind of yeah it's not any one size i'm at 12 dollars with addy ross 12 dollars with addy ross does he have a jelly belly yes he has a big rhinestone belly just knocked him out of my hand i'm sorry just let it just sit in there because you're wiggling like you naturally wiggle. But so just like that. That's fine. Except you've got. Can you you can't zoom at all, can you? It won't let you zoom. Well, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Twenty dollars with Roman going once. Going twice. Ooh, look at you and so I did I totally did not know that was a Betsy Johnson ring when I bought it you just thought it was a cute frog. I just bought it because it was a frog that's it all right this set is interesting oh you're gonna want your little black background this set is interesting because I can find several different makers who make these white I think it's porcelain or shell or, oh, it's, it's ivory. I'm pretty sure. You're not supposed to say that. Sorry. I'm not supposed to say that. Hold on. It's bone. It's bone. Um, yeah, I'm looking for the cross hatching. That's why these go for so much money. Ah, oh, now it makes sense. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's not bone. All right, show, show them. Oh, I believe that one is, I believe it's signed too. I found a sign, it does have a signature, but I can't, I can't read. I couldn't read it last night. Let me see if I can read it today. I hate that when I can't read it. It wasn't one of the makers that I recognize. It is a signed piece right here. Can you show them that? It's signed, which we're not going to be able to show you. Yeah, I can't see it. Darn it. But anyway, there you go. Buy it like you see it. And then when you get it, you can be extra happy 25 with Roman 25 with Roman boy I think we got some serious lag going on 30 with Jeannie I'm at 30 with Jeannie we're gonna go fast so we can get through a couple more lots before it's time to sign off 30 with Jeannie I'm already at 30 Melissa I'm already at 30 I'm gonna start counting it down I've got 40 with Roman I'm going once. 45 with Jeannie. I'm going twice. Got to get those snipe bids in because we're going fast. We're going to call it. So do a quick refresh, everyone. Do a quick refresh and get back into live chat. I think we're going to be able to get through like two or three more lots. How about some cats? Are my cat people here? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put these right over to you because I'm not gonna be able to show them at all. This one's signed. No, he's not. Yes, he oh. is. No, he's not. No, he's not. I thought he was. He's not. 
And there we go to Jeannie for $50 on that. Yeah, I hope that turns out to be really awesome. Do it. Can you show the whole lot first? Okay, because I haven't sh I haven't even talked to them about it yet. Okay. All right. Three cat pins. You're getting this little guy, I think, is pewter. This is kind of like one of those jelly belly kind of dudes. I didn't look to see if this was marked. Hold on. No, it's not. It is vintage. It is, we'll show you the back in a second. Show you the back in a second. And then you're going to get the little Santa's helpers, the little Christmas one. Is that one? That one's signed. That one's signed. Oh, I can't make it out. Leonard. Leonard. It's a Leonard pin. Oof. I'm going to turn them over so you can see the backs. She's going to pan the backs for you. The Christmas one is a Leonard. The other two are not marked. $20 is with Addie Ross. $20 with Addie Ross. I love the pink guy in the middle there with his little rhinestone collar. So cool. All right. I'm at 21 with Carla C. 21 with Carla C. You had those earrings in Lucky Brand, but lost one and loved them. They're even better. Yay. I'm happy if they're like, oh, nice. I think they're better than Lucky Brand for sure. All right. Going once. Going twice. And sold. All right. How many can I get through? I think we're going to do the rings next. Ooh, let's hope we can see them. Let's hope we can see. I got three rings. Three rings. These are not adjustable. That one's weird. What's on that ring? Oh, okay. All right. First one is it? I lied. It is adjustable. But it's... Uh, Oh, it can be small. It, it can go up to about a six, and it can it can be smaller. So uh, I can't even show it on that. So it's a six or smaller. This one is not. Let me make sure I'm not selling you like 14 karat gold for five bucks. You know, I'm just checking. This one has little white stones that we'll show you in a second. This is a nine. This one is an. Are you going to show them? For you. This one is a nine, and this one has a weird little thing going on it. I don't know what this has going on. This is a five. This one's a five. That's just a little, a really, that one's costume. The best one here is this one. This is a size nine. I don't know what those little, little white stones are. Let's see if we can show you a little better here. No, they're not quartz. I don't think so at all. Might be Mother of Pearl. Might be Mother of Pearl. What is Mother of Pearl? All right, three rings. I don't see a bid. If there's no interest, we're going to pass them and go to something else. Let me just make sure. Anything, anything, anything? Five, ten. Oh, there we go. Twenty. Roylene is at 20 going once they look like common opal okay that makes sense going twice and sold see we go fast at the end of the auction you guys you got to get those bids in because I'm gonna just I'm gonna whip through them all whip through get the last few things sold that we can I'm gonna do two more lots two more I'm going to do two more laps. They'll, they'll hang out an extra five minutes. You know, just chill. You don't have to be a horseback riding until five. All right. Uh, the little bead. Ow. Gosh darn it. I keep smacking my knee on the desk. Ouch. All right. $30 to Roylene on that last one. These are just some sweet little round stone beads. These might be amethyst. And I don't know what the little peachy colored ones are. So you guys tell me, 
they're quite long. Oops, I guess I have to actually, hold on, put it on the camera. This is really a, an interesting way to do this sale. I got to tell you guys. So little teeny tiny baby, like here, we can measure it by the centimeter here, how little these, I'm showing you centimeters there. These are little tiny baby round stones, but I think the purple is amethyst. I think it is. I think it is. And then I don't know, this is more like a natural tan beige brownish little stone. So I think we have some serious lag going on. I just got to wait until you guys hear me say stuff. Come on, come on. If they are blue and white stones, they could, they're not, they're, they're purple. They're definitely purple. They do look like amethysts to me. They do look like amethysts to me. All right, you guys are welcome to make deals. I am totally okay with that. If you guys want to share info. Um, I've got a $5 bid. I got Addy at $5. I've got Melissa at 15 Chevron Amethyst in beads. Okay, okay. I got Melissa at 15 Going once. Going twice and sold Let's see what else see what else I want to save those save those I'm gonna do these because we've already sold some of these okay so oh I can't ah. I don't have a keyboard. You guys will just have to trust me. Um, no, it's fine. I don't want to waste time on this. Um, Melissa, you can see where I'm highlighted. That's what I'm going to next. Or whoever is. Oh, Julia's not here. I thought Julia was going to be doing that part. I haven't even been watching who's calling the, the things. Now that I, I haven't seen Julia. All right. Roses. Oh, wait. Did I say I'm going to do the roses? I'm so confused. Yes, I'm going to do, yes, I'm going to do the next two lots from where I am highlighted. Do you see that, Melissa? So, oh, thank you. I'm going to do the three rose pins. As follows, there are three pins here. They're two of them are large and one of them is a regular size pin, but they are quite large. This has a rhinestone in the center. It is a gold tone, and Rachel's going to show it to you right there. This one is a silver tone, and uh, it's interesting because it it spins. I don't know if it's supposed to spin, but it spins. And uh, it looks like an older setting to me. It's got a rhinestone in the center as well. And then this one is your standard everyday little gold tone. Oh, wait. Oh, it's signed. It says Monet. It says Monet. Monet, Monet, Monet. It's a little gold Monet rose. All right. All three roses. One to Monet. Thank you, Melissa, for catching where I was going with that. <laughs> And ten dollars. We are at ten dollars on these three magnificent pins. Um. So Sally Campbell, aka Ann Campbell, if you bid and and win anything with this name, you have to send me another email because I won't be able to connect the dots. Just saying. Okay, I'm at $30 with Melissa. Going once. Where did you win? Okay. I see $40 with S. L. Gonzalez 2012. And we're going twice. And we're going to call it sold. 
do do do. I'm gonna take it this. No, we're gonna do one more lot, and I think yeah. it's down because I have to do the crafter lot over there, over there, over there, over there, and on the bottom, on the bottom, on the bottom. You know what? I'm not gonna do the crafter lot this time because you guys won't be able to see some of the absolutely cool stuff that I put in there. So you're right. Let's give stuff away. Let's just yeah. give stuff away. S. L. Gonzalez for the win at 45. So sorry, Melissa. So sorry. The bag. All right. This is going to get a little tricky because I'm going to have to. Are you going to give me the? That's not funny. I wasn't. All right. So you can see I've got all the little slips of paper in here. I'm picking out what you're getting. So that way there's no. All you have to do is say you're here. All you have to do is say you're here. I will stick a goodie into your purchase. All right. The first winner is Deborah Heimbecker. Did you come back? Deborah Heimbecker. Uh, Joanne Klein. Joanne Klein. Yay, Deborah's here. Joanne is here. And let's see. Da -da 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 Robin Bowser. Robin Bowser. And Diane Weaver. Diane Weaver. Diane Weaver. Diane Weaver. Diane Weaver. And there's any boxes here. <laughs> Um, what? Warren Hart. Warren Hart. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Make sure that's six. So we have not heard from Joanne yet. No. Okay. Haven't heard from Warren. I see Deborah. I forget who else I called. Oh, I'm so bad. Let's see. Let's see if Melissa's got him down here. Oh, Melissa, you keep in track for me because I don't even remember who I said. Bye, Joni. Thank you. Okay. Um, everybody left. Okay, so I've only got one winner out of all of those I pulled so far. Really? Wow. Who was the second one? We've only got one marked down. Oh. Only Deborah so far. You guys are missing out on freebies. All right. It gets tough to even give stuff away. I'm telling you. Hi, ah, Roylene. You're still here. I know you're still here. What? It's clear. What? It's clear. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? You guys have to do that being clear. For real? I don't even know what to say. Barbara Phillips, are you still here? Is anybody still here? There's only 160 people. Left. This is. This was not a great sale. You guys have made it awesome, though. Like, I, thank you for trusting the quality of the merchandise that you're going to get and bidding appropriately. Start over. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. Okay, it's funny. Because if you don't laugh, you cry, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, Barbara Phillips is here. Yay! And then we've got, oh, the owl lover. I just saw you post. Okay, the owl lover is here. I don't even know how many more I have to go. 
Uh, two more. This is going to be the same as this. Can you? Never mind. I forgot I can do this. <laughs> I was forgetting I can do this. You're good. Melissa, the owl is here because I just saw her post. So we're good on that one. I got to do two more. Oh, no. Wait. She already won. Can only win once. Oh, don't rip it, Danny. <laughs> Belinda Carroll. Belinda Carroll, are you still here? I know, I cannot believe it cleared up as we're finishing up. Thank you, Tri-State Picker Mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Carla C. Carla C., are you here? That's it, you guys. I ain't pulling anymore. So if you're here, you get a goodie. If you're not here, we're done. So check in if I called your name. Um, Melissa, can you tag them? Or, or Bree, can you tag them and see if they're here? But honestly, if, if you don't respond, then um, you're not paying attention, which the whole point is for me to reward those who stuck it out the whole time. So um, we've got those who said they were here. And if not, you missed out on a goodie. So, all right. Who can't see very well? Who what, huh? What, 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 what? What are we talking about? Okay. <sighs> we got through it, though. We got through it. Um, thank you, everyone who stuck it out and helped me get through this, helped raise money for the foundation, helped me afford Rachel's horseback riding lessons, which is where we're going after this, because she missed them all last weekend. So she's very excited to get to her horseback riding. And um, thank you, moderators. I couldn't do this without you. Absolutely could not do this without you. I appreciate you more than words can possibly express. And um, to everyone, just thank you. Thank you for putting up with me being so, so flustered. Um, uh, if you guys want to buy something that you've seen me purchase in one of my videos, the best thing to do is to email me. If you wait for me to put it on eBay, I can't give as good of a price. Just saying. But please don't message me through eBay. <laughs> Send an email. Send an email. All right, everyone. With that, everything is fixer upable or whatever that saying is, right? I don't know yeah. what that saying is. <laughs> Go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.